Hey. Say hi, David. Hi, David. Now say hi, I'm David. Now say hi, I'm David. Uh, now say I'm a pretty little princess, and I want to spend my life with you, Johnny. <laughs> You're funny, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there is no gender here. There is warrior or shield maiden. Take your choice. I think I want to rep the shield maiden. I did a, a shield maiden a minute ago, and I'm not gonna lie, she's oh, really yeah, badass. Yeah, peaking real bad now too. We're peaking uh, audio. Yeah, give me a give me a second here, Chris. Our uh, our levels are real rough coming into this game. Is this a little better for now? And then hopefully we can adjust some levels once we're in game. All right. Is it, I use See our hair. Um, that is dealer's choice. No change, really. That's odd. Huh. Let me see. I'll make a nice handsome boy. Okay. Uh, is that any better? According to this, we should have, like, no game audio at this point. Huh. All right. No. Oh, wait. Yeah. I have not gotten that far. I'm tweaking my settings right now to try to make them less bad. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, all right, well, I'm going to... Can I change the settings from here? No, I cannot. All right, let me let me make this character real quick. We're just going to do no middle sliders. We're going all right, and we're going to see what this turns our character into. Okay, it's better now? Perfect. All right. I, I'm glad to hear that. Okay, deity. Tyre is a one-handed god of war. All right. can be used only when wielding a single or one-handed weapon. He lost his hand to the wolf. Okay. Loki is the god of trickery. He dual wields or unarmed. Two-handed or axe and sword. Bow. Odin's passive and active gifts can only be used while wielding a staff. All right. Hmm. Hmm. I'm thinking Loki or Odin. What are you going to go? <laughs> All right, I'm going to flip a coin on it. Um, if I have one nearby. Um, we don't. We don't have one nearby. Oh, gosh. No. We we failed. We failed. Okay, I have I have these story cubes is what I have. So we're going to roll a story cube. Um All right. So so Drama, Locke, and Fish are Odin. The other 3 are not. Okay, we are doing Loki. Boom. Uh yes, that is because we have our our uh uh our our in-game volume or our our output volume very very muted right now. Um we will we will be able to put him up as soon as we get in game and can tweak the settings in here. Uh, uh, super. Uh, 
Slice and Dicer. That's so great. Um, what's my character's name? Uh, just... Uh, your best friend... Oh, no. Um, that doesn't fit. I Actually, your best friend fit, right? Yeah, we're just going with your best friend. We have no name. We're just your best friend. All right. Now let's fix this audio. Take this all the way down. Because we're blowing out our ears, too. Boom. Now we can turn this up. All right. Can you say something, David? Yeah, I'm here. How's it going? Well, that might be a little how's, hot. Though. How's it going, everybody? Oh, you're My okay, name you're... is Philip DeFranco. You're just a little bit hot. I'm going to turn you down in Discord a hair. All right, now try saying something. Hi, my name is Philip. Oh, that's DeFranco. too low now. Got to split the difference. To the, to, to the Philip DeFranco show. Let's just jump into it. All right, how does that sound? You we might sound need to like turn a, our audio here up a little bit. Like an angel. Okay. Is this better? Are those levels better for you? Hopefully. Uh, we're playing multiplayer, right? Online. Either way, they're fine for me. <laughs> well, we don't care about you. We care about the the viewers here. The folks son, watching the game. You son of a bitch, take that back. Oh, I'm no. I'm watching I, you. I will never. <laughs> I'm watching you as you play. I'll what do you, you know. what do you what do you think we're friends here? No, we're enemies. That's why we're, we're doing this. We're to prove that one of us is better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is it is all good. Uh I I appreciate you helping me with this with this awful audio. Every game has been a nightmare to balance correctly. Uh, it should it should be back now. It might be a little low, so we can turn it up if you don't hear it. Dun, dun. And also, welcome. It's good to have you. I, I'm glad you, you swung by. Bum, ba, dum, ba. All right. Oh wait. Why am I searching? I want to. I want to play with you. How do I play with you? Are you hosting? I'm host. Oh, I'm not hosting yet, actually. Oh, okay. That's the uh, struggle. So if I got a multiplayer. Uh, online. And then host. Oh no! I don't want to land. No. Oh, it's making me allow access now. Online. Do you want to play in hard hard mode? Uh yeah. What are we cowards? We're playing in the Yarl mode, then. Uh, who was it that I was just talking to the other day? Someone was playing God of War. Uh, oh, it was Sean. <laughs> Sean was playing God of War, and he just got to the elevator. Oh, which shit. I, I don't know if you played God of War. <laughs> I, don't, I have not played God of War, but is that, like, the elevator of life or something? Uh, yeah, basically, and it, it is, like... When the game came out, it was notoriously difficult. Like, so bad, they had to nerf it, like, three or four times. And wow. he is he is currently stuck on it still, post-nerfs. Is it, like, in the middle of the game? Like, you have to get through it? Yeah. Wow. Okay. And That's apparently, it used to be there were, like, no checkpoints through the whole thing, and now they've even added checkpoints. It's like Ornstein and Smo. <laughs> Just absurdly hard. Hard, like no reason for it to be that hard. It's in the middle of the game. Yeah, just unnecessarily difficult, which is just absurd. Okay, so I am loading in to okay. a match right now, and I think you're going to be able to join me soon. I had Perfect. to watch like a cutscene. Also, there was there was a spider hanging out somewhere, and it was near my feet. So if I suddenly jump and scream at some point during the stream, it's because the spider has decided to show itself. Just a heads up. Okay, Discord does cut out most of the screaming, so pro probably some of it. Yo, Angel Lick Knight following me? Oh, Thank hell yeah. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. You're the best. Shout out to Angel. Uh, also, I should... Oh, I do have your stream Angel, up you're here. the real OG. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this up here next to my OBS so I can monitor my stream and your stream. The village Heck had yeah. the misfortune of being in Grimmer's oh, way. And, the giants had the and Crisis Ghost is following me. Hell yeah. I just saw the follow. I don't know when you did it, but thank you so much. I don't know why my alerts aren't turned on. I need to fix that. 
I am just dropping yeah, this ball. The ball as a streamer. It's cool. Uh, I had to fix my in my notifications so that they actually like trigger for me um, while I'm playing because it's not default that they actually make sound for you and let you know that. Yeah. You, like have somebody so i actually changed it and put in my own custom sound in there it's okay. the sound when sonic dies it goes Bing, boom, boom. <laughs> that's <laughs> such a good sound to add uh vikings.exe is not responding wait for the program to respond oh i had that as well you have to go outside of your program now and look for a thing and and make sure to hit allow um oh okay um but i did do that earlier when i accidentally switched it to did uh, you because uh, I remember that like it froze multiple times when I was getting to this part of the game, and I, I am uh, trying to, but now it won't let me tab out. Um, okay. Do I have my Windows lock on? Because this was really tricky for me to get right. Now it just works. It just magically works. It's because I had to hit like some allow. Yeah, tab at some I point. I do not have. It's not prompting me for network access currently. Because I did do that earlier. Hmm. Try again. Dude. All right, I'm going to... Oh, joining match. I just had to be patient. That's all it took. Yeah. Who would have thought? Just patience. Just a little bit of patience. The PS4 version has a lot of lag in boss fights. Oh, gosh. I've never... We, this is our first time playing it. I'm responding to your chat as though I'm running your, your stream. No, that's funny. <laughs> I, I was, like, looking. I was like, wait, how are you responding to that? That's in my chat. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> that's really funny. <laughs> I'll let I'll let you take the reins of your stream. I'll manage mine. Okay, Shit, is man. this is this the know. movement? Do we just dodge roll the whole time? No, no, it's clicking. It's the opposite. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, you can dodge oh. roll in any direction. Wow, these controls are whack. Is there no like default attack? Do I have to spam one the whole time? No, the, you click it. Uh, I have, how long has it been since you played Diablo? Because I had to remind myself. Okay, these are not. Um, I mean, these are whack. These are not Diablo controls. I can tell you that for sure. You move. With, oh really? You move with Wasset in, in Diablo. Oh really? Well, yeah. you click to go in this game. Uh. And okay, there we you, go. Yep, and and holding attacks. Gotcha. Th I mean, that might just, be. Oh hey, there. Like, there's the uh you, the 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 control tool tip popping up now. Yeah, if you shoot at a, a, a person, yeah. then you will attack them. And this might be a control setting for Diablo, honestly. I don't know. It just, I think it is. Yeah, it probably is, honestly. Because they also have another one that they made for like controllers and stuff, where it's more like a traditional kind of controlling game. I, I played Diablo on like four consoles, so... Mm. I, I loved Diablo, the or the, the newest one. What was it, 3? I, I, you know I absolutely loved it. I never got so into it, I'm going to be honest. So that's kind of why I wanted you to play this game a little bit with me, because I feel like you might have a better opinion on it than I would. Okay. Um, I don't... Uh, Smite, I never played, but Smite was like a, a lane-based multiplayer game, right? I played Not necessarily that, yeah. uh, an ARPG was... like this. Yeah, that was by the same developers that did... Um... Oh, there's a big-ass troll! What? Yeah. Oh, oh, careful of the troll. Oh, I have to press R to rage. R to rage. Uh, that's by the oh, same developers, High Res, that did uh, yeah. Tribes Ascend. Yeah. Yes, Tribes Ascend. But Smite so I, was a, I, a pretty fun game. I, I believe it. the the like mechanically the gameplay is kind of similar, right? But it's not. Uh, it's no. not like a, no. It's not even similar. Smite is. I mean, it's like a. It's a behind the shoulder, almost like action game. Uh, where you're playing in like a Dota type game, uh, gotcha. where there's like multiple lanes and you have like you level up your character and. Uh, oh, I love it's this like, like League of Legends, checkpoint basically. here that we both have to stand on. Yeah. You know this game and like Diablo and stuff. It makes me think of playing like Gauntlet and stuff. That used to be my favorite. Also, we got, I think we advanced it for each other. I had great, great memories of playing Diablo. It was one of like the first games I played, not like first, first games, but when I came of age and began to play games, um, it was like one of the like my, my fundamental games I played. And right. I just have such fond memories of playing Gauntlet on the PS2 with, we had yes. the, the controller link and four players. So it was like me, my sister, my brother, and my dad all sitting in the living room playing Gauntlet together. See, that's the dopest. And when I was a kid, I would play the first gauntlet. I don't know if that actually was the first gauntlet, but the gauntlet on PS1 
was actually yep. one of my absolute favorites. Well, Gauntlet uh, was originally an arcade game, I believe. So yeah, I think it was. But like it was ported over, game. I believe. I, I think the very first one was like a 2D game. Yes, I think so. It, it's been a real hot minute since I brushed up on my Gauntlet lore, so. Yeah. But yeah, so no, it's not sort of like Smite, unfortunately. Um, picked up Jotun Heart, huh? Don't my know what that only is. attack Do you have ability. Is like oh, I hit tab. Thing. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I tried to pull up my inventory. Oh yeah. Tab. Tab. Tab is a heal. It's, it's Dark Souls heal, so you yep. have to use it yourself. There's some nasty little guys also, over like here. Wood. It seems like there might be like crafting in the game. Oh yeah, there's definitely going to be a crafting system. Later on, there's also like a temperature system where we have to like worry about like keeping ourselves warm. Oh, that's cool as hell. That's a really yeah. interesting mechanic to add. Uh, do we want to go up or over to start? Uh, I think let's go here. We're already here. All right, we're here. Actually, well, I think I remember going this way before. I don't think there's much. Oh, let's go save that girl. Sorry, that shield maiden. Her, that, that lovely shield maiden. Fuck German Western gender, gender norms. We got no room for those here. Save Helga and Hildebrad. So, uh, we have Helga. She's with yep. us now. Now we have to go get Hildebrad. I think we have to go around this way. We have to look on the German, map to see where German you can has its walk. roots in sort of like Slavic and Norse language, right? I think so. Uh, well, the thing is, is that, like, um, I feel like German, like, oh, I, I know that there was just like a bunch of people fucking around on like the islands around there, like, <laughs> just kind of doing their own thing. Uh, but then there were like a the Germanic tribe that like hung out and spoke like an early English. Okay. Is that a chest? Yeah, we got a treasure chest up here. Is loot instanced for us? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Everyone should identify as a shield maiden, honestly. It would make society a lot better if we just, like, you're a warrior a or a shield maiden. I mean, it would make us... I don't know. Then then everything kind of is centered around violence. I gotta think about this. <laughs> mm, well, but isn't it already? I guess it is. I guess you're right. I don't know. This guy's beefy. Oh, oh I should have dodged. Tab. Got him. Uh, activate rage scene. when your rage bar is full. Deal damage point, to if I fill your rage bar. R. I hate that. Why would they not force us to use that during the fight? Oh, yeah, right? Yeah, why well, would I, they I wait actually, for that tutorial mo moment till after the fight? Weirdly, I got it in the middle of a fight earlier. Oh, maybe mine just filled. That might be it. That means you're doing all the good, good murder while I just sit around doing nothing. Well, I am a ranged class, and ranged classes can always fire like a second um, There is this way that we can go, which I believe is where we have to go. Yeah. I just saw this interesting piece today, uh, speaking of, like, gender identification and uh, shield maidens versus warriors, about the Matrix being a... Oh, a trans uh, story. Yeah, a trans story. Yeah, it always was. Yeah, which is super fascinating. I, I had never mm -hmm. even considered it from that lens. I mean, obviously, because I'm dumb, cis, white, male brain, but... Yeah, but, I mean, the red pill is all about, like, the idea of, like, breaking free of, like, gender ideals and, like, the idea of, like, being in, uh, you know, part of the system and, and like, kind of breaking out of the system, like... Yeah, it was uh, super cool watching the, the director talk on that and these ideas of that, like they didn't even have these sort of like words and terms and so it was all like it was all sci-fi to them and so what's funny is that now it's been co-opted by the right it's like red pilling and like <laughs> yeah <laughs> like that, that that has become like a sort of meme to me like, like now you're indoctrinated to the right but really it was originally meant to be now you're indoctrinated to, to, to but that's the like trans identity that is um, like literally the idea of the right and that's what they do is they take very popular things with communities already built and try to co-opt those communities by changing the meaning of it mm -hmm. like pepe the frog and the okay sign I hate that they co-opted the OK sign because, yeah. like, I will have people flash that at me in public now, and it used to be, like, a fun thing that, like, I would be like, hey, buddy, hey, how's it going? 
and then now I see it, and it just makes me a tough well, well, What? Like, they stole great. Hawaiian shirts this summer? What? I hope you're kidding. What did you just say? Oh, please drop a link to that in the chat. Travel to the fjords and clear the way for our hunt. Oh, you might have just ruined my day. Don't. Is it gonna ruin my day? They. they I, gay TikTok said that uh, conservatives stole Hawaiian tick or Hawaiian shirts this summer. Like it's become a conservative thing now. What? Right? Just stealing shirts? Apparently, that's like that's their fashion now. I have oh, to look into they. that. That is whack as hell. Conservative fashion is now Hawaiian shirts. Hawaiian shirt. shirts. No. Oh, no. I hope that's not true. That can't be right. <laughs> I mean, if they did, then yeah, it sounds like it is right. It's no longer left. Oh, no. Uh, sacrifice I, I blood to like gain that. a new level. How much blood do I have? I want damage. We're going glass cannon. Slot. Uh, two gift points. <laughs> they do love cultural appropriation, but like in a very, very fucked up light too. It, it's not just like cultural appropriation. It is like cultural colonization. <laughs> um, okay, how do I access? There it is, I. All right, so I have a hunting bow. I don't know if this is better than your bow. Oh, I would love that. Uh, 63 to 71 damage. Um, that, yeah, that's better than mine. Okay, um, let me figure out how to drop things. Oh, do you want my Dane axe? Um, is it one-handed? Uh, it's a two-hand. Oh. Uh, I don't know how to drop things. Maybe you can do a trade? Uh... Oh, yeah, is there a trade? I do have gifts unlocked, too. Sorry, I'm, like, all over the place. I'm trying to figure out what we got going. Uh, you call that frenzy. Attack speed increased by 15% during rage. Uh, a daring forward leap which knocks enemies back. Yeah, I think I probably want the ability first, right? Wait, you must build altar 2 first. Oh. You want... Oh, okay. So this is what I can learn. Oh, yes. Aha. Aha. You figured it out. Okay, um, so it, on the bottom right, there's a tiny little button called Give Item. So if you drag uh, an item over to the Give Item button, then you can give the item. The tiny... Oh, there it is. Hell yeah. All right, I've given it. Item transferred. Ooh, um, magic bow. Yeah, take that bow. And I'm going to look at my gifts again. All right, rage damage. Passive gift. Your rage is weak. Put more strength into your blows. Increase damage during rage. Yes, please. Uh, why should Loki grant you health? Give me health. Uh, so you can live longer and spill more blood? Very well, the deal's on. Huh? A single spin which slashes and leaves them poisoned. Yes, wait. To learn this gift, you need to reach level three. Yeah, we only level two. Yeah, so I could get the health, but oh no, that requires three as well. Okay, I can't do anything else. I just have extra points that I can't use. Seems great. Wait, no you don't, do we? I, oh, I guess I, I do. do have one extra point. That's yeah. why. Oh. I guess, uh, um, yeah. I've lost That's my fine. ability on one. Oh, fuck, I hit tab again. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. Don't worry about it. If you go over to this uh, healing ulcer, then you get all yep, of your health I just did it. back. So um, then go over this way, and we can go to our next quest. Hold on. I don't know how my ability dropped. It's gone. Ability. Oh? Ability. Go back on my bar. Go. You. Friend. Why aren't you? What are you doing? One. What happens? I. Is it because we're not in combat? Yeah, we aren't in combat right now. You can't does, attack when you're not in combat. Well, does your combat bar still show your ability? Um. Oh, actually, wait. If you press Shift and then attack, you can you can still attack. Yeah, my combat bar has lost my ability. Your combat bar? What? Like the bottom left where you press like one, two, three, four. Oh, that's because um you have to have oh. uh the certain like. You have to satisfy the requirements oh, of your gosh. god in order to get your abilities for your gift. So your gift um, requires, I think, a weapon in both hands. Angelic Knight, hell yeah. Thank you so much for the follow. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, we just got... So it, it has been officially confirmed. I have, like, six links showing how uh, white uh, Hawaiian shirts have become a symbol of white power. That sucks, Oh, man. it's because it's the fucking Boogaloo Boys. Fuck those assholes. Oh, I hate the Boogaloo Boys. 
Man, they can go suck a dick. I they can. Them. They're them so the fucking proud boys. It, if you name your movement after a meme to begin with, then you're already fucking up. Like. Oh yeah. Um. Okay. So I have so not figured sure out my abilities. Your your Loki is the god of dual handed fighting, so you have to have. A oh, I don't have it on my offhand. That's why I put two on my main hand. Um. Go there. There we go. And now it shows back up. Okay. Got it. Resolved. Yep. Now how do we how do we come through the gate? We are going to travel to the raid. Oh, you're the jungle. leader. You're doing stuff that I can't see, huh? I guess so. I guess that would be what that means. <laughs> gods reward you with resources and runes when completing the trials of gods. Huh. Who'd have thought? Rolling consumes stamina, which is also used to activate gifts, so beware of rolling too much. You may miss your stamina. <laughs> <laughs> but but I do love that that we are we are taking red hats back by by using them as like ironic symbols to represent a different thing. I absolutely love that sort of trend in fashion right now with printing different things on MAGA hats. <laughs> oh yeah, that that is actually a pretty good thing. It's a little it was a little cringe when it first started because it was like, man, really, it's just like a hate symbol. I don't know about that. But then some of them have been so funny that, like, I can't not hate it. It's so good. It's literally just, like, actively right. trolling them. Oh. I hate it. Can't not love it. I love, love so much that Angelic Knight just, like, popped between both of our streams and followed us both. That That is so great. <laughs> He's actually my hero. I was just thinking about him. Like, goddamn, what a cool guy. <laughs> Do you know Angelic Knight from outside of this? No, not that I can think of. Oh, you just they're just super cool in the in the interaction you've had with them already. I mean, literally, I have not I think this is the first time that I've met them to my toy knowledge. Oh, there's a they're wolf cool. over here. Yeah, so we're hunting and we're going to slaughter hundreds of wolves. I played a little bit of this game last night. Oh, this sounds like an ARPG. <laughs> we don't make it easy. We 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 are engaged in this sort of like, oh, wolf pelt. Hell yeah. Uh, oh yeah, we need iron skulls, we need to find Jotan, and we need Jakul tokens. We, between the three of us, or the two of us, we do have like three Twitch channels, so, and we are all over the place. <laughs> actually, I wonder if I can just pop out the chat over here so I can actually have a better look at it while I'm playing. Is that an option? It might be. It seems like an option. Do you not have a, a chat window on your OBS? I have a chat window on my OBS, but it's for my stream, not yours. Oh, so oh, you're saying you can't I see have... my stream's chat. Gotcha. Yeah, now I have your stream's chat. There's open. so many crows. I can't kill the crows very easily. Oh, the crows, I can I can. Yeah, them I was going to say, you should be able with to destroy my friends. I was doing like a dual-handed wield last time yep. with Thor, and it was really fun because I was just smacking crows out of the air with a fucking <laughs> hammer. See, I've missed like four of them. Um, all right, I pulled a lever in this in this little building over here. I don't know what it did. I do love that the crows just kind of explode. I feel like it's it's post wedding after we fed them a bunch of rice, you know. <laughs> yeah, they're very gibby. They're thoroughly. Uh, treasure chests like are the best bet at finding them. iron skulls. That is super good to know. We need to find some treasure chests. Oh, what is happening? Something is freezing us. I should probably heal soon. There's a weird uh, swirly icon on our map over here. So how long have you been playing Vikings oh, for, the Angelic? The swirly icon, we, is... we need to heal. We, we need to get to the heat. We're going to die. Oh, because we're, that's we're... heat. The swirly icon is heat? Yeah, we need to get heat now. We Good to, to know. Now. We got time. We're we got time. You see right below your health? Yep, I see it. I'm almost down. We're here. See? Good as new. All Treasure right. chest. Boom. Oh, I got a great shield. Not that either of us are using shields. I'm not even familiar with bet. how long this game has been out. And, like, how does it stack up to uh, long-term games like Diablo? I don't know. Because, like, most of the reviews that I saw, it was actually mixed reviews uh, on Steam. But for the recent reviews, it was all very, re very good, pretty much. My guess so, is it gets a lot of negative reviews for being a quote-unquote Diablo clone. 
And, but, like, I imagine that the people that like it are just people that, you know, enjoy Diablo games. Yeah, and it seems like it's got a lot of... Oh, you... Oh, wow, you just hit level 15. Dang. That... So, how have you how have you felt about the game so far? Have you played Diablo or any other sort of ARPGs? And what do you think of in in conjunction with this one versus those? Because the the my most most of my experience with ARPGs comes from the Torchlight series. I played those mostly instead of the Diablo games. See, I own Torchlight, but I never really got into it. Uh, really? Yeah, I, I oh. really want to give the new one a try. Torchlight three looks oh, cool. Tab. Have you seen the classes for it? No. Uh, the, one of them is the railroad class. You play as a dude who, like, literally constantly relays, like, railroad tracks behind him. And oh, shit. Did I like just a, die? A, a, yeah, probably. That board is like, a turret. Bad. He's a turret that follows him on the railroad tracks, and he has to, like, constantly build tracks for it. It's so fucking cool. That's super dope. Uh, I am dead. How do you bring me back to life? Uh, I don't know. Let me go walk over to your corpse. Try I thought clicking that you the flag? Can... Oh, I can think I can actually bring you back. Yeah. I have become the ghost. Treasure chest, perfect. Wolf pelts, thingies. What are we looking for? Iron, iron skulls. We found zero so far. <laughs> also, uh, Angelic Knight, what kind of character are you playing as? I'm curious which class you chose and how they kind of uh, felt playing as. Like, yeah, I, I'm really because... curious about the class diversity. Yeah, right, right now, uh, they feel somewhat similar because, like, a lot of the melee classes are just kind of the same. Right now, the range class is, like, one of the most different, but it's also fairly basic if you played, like, these sorts of range classes in our ERPGs. So far... I, what I'm excited about is the abilities. You played Diablo 3, and so far the Vikings is quite fun. There's no level cap, uh, you know of on Vikings, and you play as an archer. Gotcha. Oh, there's another so lever. you're enjoying the arch. I don't know what all these levers do, but I'm going to keep yanking them. Um, I might so... end up switching over to be Odin if I don't like this. Or not Odin, Thor. Okay. Uh, Thor so how do you feel with... Uh, is that is that one of the things you don't like about Diablo is the level cap? I know they have the whole, like, uh, post-level... Um, not, it's not prestige. I don't remember what the name of the, the system is in Diablo. But I, I know they have that sort of, like infinite leveling system that, that I use very loosely. They have like a season that like you have to level up each season. Yeah. So do you just prefer the blanket no level cap over the sort of like trying to shoehorn in some sort of like infinite? I also feel like this game is just kind of a nice casual time because last night when I was playing it, I was just playing it while having full conversation. I'm going to break this friends. totem. Boom. Not we really got one. like focusing. Nice. Not really focusing. Oh, I'm I'm gonna die from from cold. Oh yeah, we gosh. Need to get that. He, I'm, he, he down here. He I'm down I'm, here. I'm stuck. Here. I'm stuck. Oh, they netted me. Oh gosh. What a good time to net. Come on, come on, come on. Paragons. That's what it is. Yes. It caps at 10k. Really? I thought it went up infinitely. Are you oh. are you at 10k Paragon level? <laughs> That'd be crazy. That is that is mad whack. If so. You, you've got some love and respect for these games, and I love and respect that. I mean, actually, I really, especially once they added the uh, the sort of, like, infinite dungeons in Diablo, I really enjoyed that feature. Hey, let's go back up and right. We haven't explored this whole yeah, area Yeah, there's a yet. lot we haven't explored. You're sitting at 2400. Okay. Have you been playing since the release? Or, or did you just pick it up uh, at some point later? Like post Reaper of Souls, probably. That's when I, I know a lot of people got into it. I actually waited for a while. The reason why I didn't play Diablo was because of the always online thing. I like, uh, kind of protest didn't buy it for a while. Yeah, um, I know that off put a lot of people and the auction house. I know they had to uh, drop the auction house because so many people were so upset about it. Wow. Yeah, uh, but also like I remember that a lot of the developers for Diablo like left to go into to play to work on Torchlight, which is why I played those instead. Yeah, I I really I I've always wanted to get into Torchlight. I just never really pulled the trigger because like I had invested so much time in Diablo and and not having right. any friends or anything that played it, it just felt like well, a really big grind to try to get into it myself. Well, maybe with we'll some time, if you want to play Torchlight 2, we can play that, because I, I still like Torchlight 2. It's a fun game. It's a little, like, repetitive, but... I would love that, or even to try out Torchlight 3 if you'd be interested. 
Yeah, definitely. I, it would be a little bit of money, but... Yeah, obviously. It wouldn't be like a right-away thing. Yeah. Um, speaking of, apparently I already owned this game, and it was free with our Humble Bundle, so if anyone checking out the channel today would like a copy of it, let me know, because I do have an extra copy of it that I don't plan on doing anything with. Hell yeah. Another treasure chest. This'll have a skull. Yeah. And now I knew we it. Have you don't have a fancy-ass chest like this and not put a skull in it. Hell yeah. We also can only give out games to our close relatives and friends. Yes, Humble uh, Bundle has changed their policy, so you can only give out games to relatives and friends. I mean, I shouldn't say change, they have quote-unquote clarified it. So, uh, th they will ban accounts if you're giving them out for giveaways, which is whack. Which means, uh, I guess that if people want games, you just give them to them? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> which means, if, if you're ever in a court of law in which someone tries to accuse you of not being my friend, then just, like, you, you have then, to then agree that you're my video. friend. Pull up this video. It's proof that I'm your friend. Right now. We're literally <laughs> destroying these goblins' homes and forcing them out and murdering them. Oh, yeah. Them. Like, 100%. this is so Viking, it's insane. All right, I have to Murder get to the, to the, to the heat. Gentr not even gentrification, because we're not making it better. Uh, no, this isn't gentrification. I mean, that's a pretty bold statement to say gentrification I mean, makes it better. It better. <laughs> yeah, but, but, like, making it better to a white perspective, you know what I mean? Ma making, it, making it better for white people. That's yeah. What I mean. Come out, come out, goblin. Not, yeah, G everything gentrified is better, right? Uh... <laughs> Wait, have we finished everything up on the top left? We haven't gone anywhere on the, on the top left. We just kind of ignored that area. You want to go back to it? Uh, yeah. Let's go check it out. Oh, I did uh, not know Reapers of Souls only goes to T16. That is wild. Yeah, that was yeah, one of my, my biggest issues with Diablo is that, like, the legendary system, while it feels super, super cool and, like, getting a legendary is rewarding and they're all very unique, it also becomes very repetitive getting the same, like, 40 non-legendary items while you're trying to grind out a single piece that you need. You know what I noticed? is It always seemed like Destiny just kind of became, like, Diablo, but like a first-person Diablo. Oh, Destiny had always been Diablo with guns. It, it has always yeah. been that, yeah. I guess that's what Borderlands is, too, but like, yeah. I kind of forgot that for a while. I mean, because that is, like, Diablo is what po popularized the sort of, like, uh, I don't even know what that genre is deemed. Like, and uh, slash, ARPG, like. Um, the, the sort of, like, uh, uh, dungeon crawlers. The endless loot, loot dungeon, crawlers. dungeon crawlers. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, where, where I mean, yeah, like, everything the there is a clone of Diablo. Which, it's so funny how games are so iterative of each other, that you really can often describe each other as, like, it's the Oh, I'm frozen. I need, I need to get to the, to the ice, or yeah, to the careful. heat. I'm here. I'm here. I'm at, I'm at the heat. Oh, warm me up. And, I mean, like, that is, that is an interesting point that I, I, it's something I've always wanted to explore a little more in games, is the idea of mechanics and how mechanics develop. And, and that sense that there is sort of mechanic stagnation and, and only one game every, like, you know, five or six years does something that's truly mechanically different. Yeah, like, I think of the first time that I ever played Katamari Damacy and, like, that just blew my mind. I was like, this is amazing. I've never thought about this as a yeah. concept before. And this is amazing. I want more of this, of just this brilliant, this whatever. I, like, I want to get Katamari for the Switch so bad. Oh, dude, get it. It's really good, actually. And, like, if you, if you go to Best Buy, they have, like, this version that's probably still in stock on clearance. That, <laughs> really? Because like, a plush. Because, uh, like, I noticed that it's just always there. Like, no one buys it. Oh, I have to um, go check that out. That sounds adorable. Yeah, it's, it's like a little... It's two different parts of the plush. There's, like, the Little Prince plush, and then there is the uh, Katamari plush. Okay. And it comes with a boxed copy of the game. I'd fuck with that. Yeah. But like, then then you have games that are iterative of it, like Donut County, that like just is not quite as good. Did you, you play have, Donut like, County? I I have played a tiny bit because I think like I played like the demo of it, but I don't think I ever played it like oh, okay. myself. I was really uh, hyped for Donut County when I saw it, like the yeah, trailer. Yeah, I was too. But like, 
Uh, from what I've heard of it anyway, it seems like it's fun and charming, but like nowhere near as fun as like Katamari because you don't have like the sort of visceral, terrifying, existential terror of like you know people squirming on your ball as like they're they're screaming for help <laughs> and you're gotcha. rolling up more things. Yeah, it, it doesn't it's quite have like, the charm. You just kind of envelop everything. Uh, yeah. that's that's something that like, and that's one of the things that like. Diablo 3 did so differently from its previous iterations is that idea of that like they really wanted you to stick with certain pieces of gear while while like mm. Diablo 2 I remember it was very much like you were abandoning even legendary gear like left and right oh and torchlight is that way as well and it actually facilitates it through the gameplay where you don't have to go home to uh, actually like get rid of items you can just give it to your pet and then they will go sell it for you oh that's so good yeah, so your pet is like either a extra combatant during combat or they're somebody who like goes and sells items for you while you're dungeoning. That's awesome. And that's like that's something about these sort of like looting loot or uh, dungeon crawling loot games that like I feel upgrades do kind of even in Destiny had the issue is that like upgrades really sort of hinder the uniqueness and the excitement about only you can interact with that. Oh. That leaves us. Oh, gotcha. This was the th start. Uh, that uniqueness and that desire to continue to find more and more items, you know? As, as soon as you find a piece that you really like, then the whole looting aspect of the game is just kind of abandoned. That's like in Borderlands, uh, whenever I like get a really cool gun that I really love and then I have to abandon it because it just doesn't do the damage that I need anymore, like... <laughs> and, but that's that's kind of the thing I really like about Borderlands and how they sort of resolve that issue is that all the gear can always be found at every level. And so you know that gun that you really liked, you'll find at a later level. Wait, but, like, it's funny because they also, like, claim that, like, there's so many guns that you'll never see repeats, but, like... There's totally like types of guns that you end up seeing again and like Well that that's because that like the, the uncommon guns, there's there's like an infinite amount of them. But the comp yeah. like the rare guns, they're they're designated spawns and they're designated guns. You can like maybe get them again if you do the quest again or whatever. Exactly. Or you know the right person to farm or I don't know. What's your take? Do you do you prefer an upgrade system, Angelic? You know, have you ever played Path of Exile? I did play some Path of Exile. I really, really liked Path's uh, like character customization uh, stuff. They yeah, did. I was about to say the the upgrade system in that game is so good. It it and reminded like... me a lot of Rift, which I really liked. Rift. I was gonna say Final Fantasy X. I I didn't play a lot of Final Fantasy. <laughs> Okay, so Final Fantasy X has this, like, grid-based leveling up system where you have, like, this expansive, like, leveling system that you can kind of go in any direction. And gotcha. all of the different characters are on the grid somewhere, and you can expand to where they are and get their abilities if you wanted to. That definitely sounds closer. Um, we're missing something back here. I don't know if there's another lever or something, but there was a chest we couldn't get to. And I've pulled two levers, which my my dumb brain makes me inclined to believe that there's a third one somewhere we're missing because rule of three. Well, there's a lot of area down here that we haven't gone to yet. Yeah, like but my lot. assumption is it's going to be contained in this area, right? I don't think so. Because when I did this solo, it didn't tell me that there was an area. Well, if you come back here. I don't think, because it, you can press M also. Yeah, but th th this zone feels sort of isolated from the next area we come up to. I guess. Come play with me. Let's let's do some. Honestly, the upgrade system does help. Yeah. You can also upgrade a legendary item to an see, ancient right primal here. Tablet. I don't see anything over there. Get, get over here. You'll see it. Oh, that chest there. Yeah. Well, we can't get to it. I bet we can. My money's on, we can get to it. Well, you see on the top right? Uh-huh. Maybe we have to get all the Jokel totems or something. My bet is there's a lever we're missing. Oh. 
don't yeah, know where and that, the that's, would be. That's why I'm kind of torn about upgrade systems because it does like it does really make the the incentive of like keeping your gun, like your your weapons and stuff, it feels better having those weapons and and like being able to like grow with the weapons and and actually being able to use the weapons you enjoy. But but like that aspect of losing the the fun of the loot is what really bugs me about it cuz I don't know. I just maybe I just love games that are dopamine farms and and I don't want the dopamine rush to ever be lost and and the looting always has that. I want to play Bloodborne because that's a game where you like choose a weapon and stick with it and like you should learn the, the whole ass game. <laughs> yeah. Um, there's got to be a lever somewhere. I swear I there's got to be. Maybe it's in the next area, bro. I don't think so. I'm not thinking it is. Bro. Bro. The, bro the, next, the next area is pretty big, bro. Bro, but like, why would they make us backtrack this much? Bro. Bro. This area itself is already pretty big, bro. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go check back by the spawn, and then I'll come back. Okay. Okay. I'll wait for you. I'll admit defeat if I don't find it over here. Cause I am going to remind you, I have actually completed this level once. I don't know that I got the chest, but I have completed the level. Did you find levers and pull them all, and did they do something? I think I might have found a lever, but I didn't know if it did anything. I found two so far, and my guess is that there's gonna be three. So I'll just wait here, and I'm gonna take a spicy meatball because I'm very hungry. How do you have so many spicy meatballs? Oh, is it a dab? Do you mean, right. do you mean you're doing a dab? No, no. What? We don't do drugs here. But I, I am very glad that there are people out there that do like really enjoy upgrade systems because I, I think they added a, a different perspective at least to to these loot and loot and dungeon crawler games. Mm -hmm. Path of Exiles is so cool because it's sort of these like... These enemies keep glitching through the ground on me. It's hilarious. <laughs> you could eventually become any class. Wait, there are enemies still? Yeah, there's a couple. Like, every time I hit them, they, like, jump into the sky or fall through the ground. <laughs> Here it is. I found it. I found, I found the last lever. You son of a bitch. <laughs> the actually my assumption is the last lever there's been three go check if that chest is accessible now let's see if I've solved the lever puzzle the case of the lever I hope so then I can just rub it in your smug ass face if you do I will actually probably lose my shit <laughs> the, the podcast you can trigger a checkpoint you can trigger me why hell's breasts does hell have breasts is hell a woman in Norse like is hell like a person and a woman in Norse mythology yes the god oh, of death okay. interesting <laughs> She's the two-faced god of death. Uh, I, one half of her is dead, and the other half is like a beautiful woman, I think, if I remember correctly. That's dope as hell. I don't know a lot about like actual Norse mythology, even though I do love it. Uh, Norse mythology is sort of like Greek mythology, except where Greek mythology teaches you a bunch of like lessons and shit. Uh, Norse mythology is there to okay, just fucking purely entertain you. Does not open that, unfortunately. So I don't know how we get to there still. But yeah, I did pull a third level lever that I now feel satisfied moving forward because of. Okay. I'm really happy that you found that lever because that means that now we don't have to backtrack as much. Later. Because rule of threes. <laughs> Wait, was there something you needed levers for later? No. <laughs> it just means that if you find more levers, then we know that we got all the levers. If, if there's more than three or less than three or some or some sort of quantity of three or something... I, I don't know. It's not always a quantity of three, bro. Or, or what? Well, what I'm trying to say is, if they're, if we find something that seems to have been the use for the levers, that's what I'm okay, trying yes, to say. Yes, yes, I understand. Those are the words that want to come out of my hole. 
Oh my god, it's Joke. It's what? Oh, Jokel. <laughs> what did you think I said? I had what no clue. Thought... <laughs> did you like think I said like a racial slur or something? No. <laughs> it's like the way you reacted. So just like like Jokel. I just <laughs> I, I I could not what? process what you said, and so uh, I just heard Joe. Joe. <laughs> it kind of sounds like a racial slur though, doesn't it? He's a good old Joe. Fucking Jokel. <laughs> it's like a yokel. That is that is like not really a slur, I think, but like a nickname. For like uh, a... isn't like what is yokel again? To the best of your knowledge. A yokel. Uh, definition. Um, someone who speaks yoke tales and uh is from the north. Uh, computer. Maybe. Define yokel. Person from a rural area, a country oh. So it is a slur. I, I, Yokel is a slur. Yeah, an, an, an uneducated person from uh, a rural area. See, I, I just thought it was from like a place. I get it. Oh god. This, there's a lot going I'm on right now. Hurt. I'm getting hurt. I'm getting hurt. I'm getting hurt. I'm, I'm, I'm killing hurt. all the ads and then I'll come help you with the big guy. Just dodge. Oh, he's on me now. Get out of here. Oh! Have you considered doing less damage? Alright, I helped. I assisted. I hit him like once. Hell yeah. That was that was just teamwork right there. Pure teamwork. Pure uh, pure good old fashioned work from teams. Hey, can I just give you a couple things right here that I have? Uh sure. Do you want this bow that I just picked up? Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh gosh, that was a very bad time to give me that. Quit. I'm sorry, you're fighting things, are you? Nope, I'm just dying uh, from heat. Cold. What, the, you know, what's what's the heat that's that's not heat but really cold? The ice burn. I'm dying from ice burn. Frostbite. Fit 46. <laughs> okay, this one's very... Oops, I don't want to equip it. No. It was Why do you keep you. giving me two-handed axes? I can't dual wield two-handed axes. Oh, I, well, that was just because I was, uh, you know, in a hurry <laughs> and I... Saw a weapon that looked like maybe it was yours. Um, okay, I got everything I needed up there. Actually, there's a treasure chest up here. Did you get the treasure chest? No, and it's gonna have a skull in there for us. Uh, Ooh. 62, 50, 50. All right, that one's better. Let's equip that. 56. Oh, I have rune slots too. Let's stick this in something. Is that how I do this? How do I? Oh, those, these two have rune slots, but they do. Okay, 55, 56. All right, we're going to slap that in there. Wait, do it. How do I? Hmm. Hmm, indeed. Hmm. I don't know what it is. This is a rune, right? It looks like it goes in there. Actually, that does seem Maybe there's some sort of upgrade system that I don't know about yet. All right, I'm going to go up and get my loot. Uh, a Viking sword. I think make I'd a like. sword. All right, we have our skulls. Oops, I healed again. Uh, sword, sword, sword. Forty-five to fifty. Oh, that's worse than what I have. Rip. You can multi-class in this game. Oh, that's super cool. Do you have to like pledge to another deity in some aspect, or is I it just like? Well, you actually have, there's like a test that you can go through that like you basically have to like earn favor with the god. That tip uh, that we read out loud earlier that I was criticizing for being super obvious. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there's like a person that you go to to talk with them and then you can unlock that ability. We can do their trials and that yeah. gives us their abilities. That's super cool. They're in like the hometown and be careful next to this guy. It makes you very cold. Yeah, I was beating it up. Uh, one of our quests is to defeat all Get of them. Get over here, crow. It's like an optional quest. Uh, yeah, we have two left. I've been killing them all as I go. Also, I don't know if you noticed, but we actually take more coal while we're, like, on that little precipice there. Oh, I did not catch that. So, like, the, uh, not pledge, you just eventually unlock a second loadout. Okay, cool. Here's another, here's another lever. 
You That's fool! Much. There's more! There's gonna be one more now, then. Fucking multiplayer. It's not rule of threes they're That's using, it's rule of odds. Man, that sounds I just like got a lot of ears, though. benevolence. I, I don't know what kind of uh, I god I want to side with next. I, I guess I'll find out which, because there's like one that you it's going to side with first. Roll. I, I know I'm not utilizing dodge enough in this game, but also nothing's very dangerous yet. And it doesn't help that I have like a dash attack. <laughs> Which makes you just go right into the damage. And it, like I'm, I'm using it as a dodge instead. Oh, oh god. I mean, it honestly is probably multi-purpose built like that. Oh, without a doubt. It just, I instead of dodging, I'm just waiting for it to come off cooldown <laughs> and I've been spamming it. Uh, each of the gods have certain skill trees. Okay. I'm assuming it's the it, it, it's the same relative skill trees to the ones that you would get if you had originally selected that class, right? I think so, yeah. That's my guess, anyway. Ah, oh, exposure resistance. Hell yes! We need this in real life. <laughs> Louis C.K. would never have succeeded at what he did. <laughs> you been... Oh, there it is! It was five! Told you! Oh. Rule of odds, and that chest is there. Well, it wasn't in threes, so... It's, it's rule of odds after they don't do three. <laughs> okay, fair, fair, fair. <laughs> don't believe me? I have a whole section written about it in my book. But, like, I swear, like, there have been, like, Zelda puzzles where it's four things you have to turn on. If there's a Zelda puzzle that uses four things... Uh, the only reason you would use four over... <laughs> Louis C.K. does need to leave. <laughs> yeah, Louis C.K. <laughs> Super problematic. He is... He's been done. He's had it too good for too long. He's done. Uh, let's go back and get that chest, right? Is there a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's also a bunch of chests over here. Oh, ooh, look at that. A couple houses we can destroy. You probably can't, like, use a shield in your offense, huh? You have to have a weapon. Uh, it's dual wield, so my you assumption is yes. Finger. I cannot. Maybe you can, like... Oh dear, you're gonna be able to hear some honking behind me. Oh, Someone I hear it. Alarm. Oh, lovely. Could you imagine if, like, you just heard that sound in the, like, the Viking times? You were just like, whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, I mean, that's like, so much of what they believed in was because of just, like, things they couldn't explain, right? Svente, what's that sound? Svente, this is, this is honking in the distance. I, did I tell you about the, the piece I read about Norse mythology and how it's not actually, like, relative to Norse anymore, and it's closer to just, like, a Christian account of North, Norse mythology that we know. That's fascinating. Yeah, yeah because, like, in the in the sort of conquest of all of it, we rewrote all their books to deliberately make them look bad. Oh, of course. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Yeah, and that, like, most of the tribes believed in, like, dozens of different versions and stories of Norse mythology. Oh wow, that makes a lot of sense, honestly. And, yeah, and we took the ones that made it made them seem the worst and put them together, basically. So this is the end, and this is the boss. And also, Angelic Knight said, uh, "Yes, kind of archer crits, for example." Uh, I'm going back for that chest. Of arrows, power shot, which is my favorite. His attack is lightning damage. Ooh. Ooh, that's super dope. Oh god, I made a real bad mistake. Oh yeah, you went all the way back. Well, yeah, I want to get that chest, but also I didn't stop at any sort of fire on the way. So did you freeze to death? I'm about to. Well, I'm getting close to one. I think I, I can make it. Roll, roll, five. Yeah. All right, I made it. I'm safe. It, it's really interesting so far, like, versus Diablo, the abilities in this game feel... I mean, one, we're getting them far and fewer in between, and two... They feel more docile. It's not like like Diablo. The characters are built around their abilities, basically. Yeah, and we really have been doing a lot more with their basic attacks and dodging. Also, what is blood, and why can I sacrifice it for levels? Um, it's like experience, I think. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Svende, what was that sound? All right. Come on. It, it actually, like, like the oh, legend of, like, dragons and stuff. I got like something you're going like... to want. Dun, 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 dun. 
like I heard like like dragons and shit like that was just like people like moving their ships on land when they didn't expect it and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. Actually, I don't know if you've ever heard of um. Uh, you have two hands. Use them both. Move like a oh bonus to moving speed while dual wielding. Okay. Vinland Saga. Have you heard of that? Uh, no. It is an anime that is set in Viking times. Okay. And it is actually, like, historically accurate in a lot of ways. Interesting. And it's, uh, sort of, like, really heavily critically acclaimed, and it's super, like, adult. Uh, it's in the same sort of way that, like, Berserk is. Um, like, really, really good art. Uh, but has never really gotten a good anime adaptation until super recently on Amazon. They got, uh... Okay, so it's just how you level up, and I'm assuming you just get blood every time you kill something. Sorry, I was replying to Angelic. No, you're good, you're good. But, um, yeah, they, they have characters like Thorfinn the Giant, who's, like, this fucking seven-foot-tall man who loves logs at people as weapons. <laughs> uh, and, and, like, he, he's, like, based on, like, a real dude who, like, fought for the Norse and then switched sides when he got bored of fighting for the Norse and then fought for the English. That's wild. <laughs> so, um, yeah. There's, so, there's a lot of good shit in that. I do know that we are level 3 currently, but that chest did drop a level 28 bow for me, which seems a little absurd. That level gap there is a bit wild. They want you to play the game to get that. Hot damn. Yeah, they are just setting you up to grind it out. I guess if you went your the whole distance to get that fucking thing, then yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You probably are All the right. type to get that far into the game. Uh, I'm just going to send this over to you now, because I don't want to deal with it. Take your level 28 item. Just thank you. Here, do you want me to give you something cool? Oh my god, what the fuck? Scotty's great bow. Ooh, my, I got so a better healing charm. You can have this too. Wow, okay. You can have my old healing charm. How do I equip the healing charms? Uh, You just right-click it. Really? Or drag it over your other healing charm. Oh, I see. Uh, since you can't use that bow, maybe you can use this one to start. Yeah, this will do. Uh, that's a one Damn handed. It. That's worse. That's a two you handed. Can you can't use, use one handed. handed. This it's thing. worse. Uh, where'd that dump that? I don't know where that went. Did I accept it? Or does the wrong button? Ooh, yeah, we'll take that. Oh, did it auto equip it? Maybe. Yeah, it did. Okay, it auto equipped it. I still don't know how to equip runes. Have you figured that out yet? Oh, it's a rune. Uh, oh, that's whatever. I, I was like, wondering. I have a Uru's rune. Armor slash weapon effect. Yeah, so it should. And I have rune slots in these weapons. Hmm. Do you have you have you gotten into ruining your weapons yet, Angelic? Am I just missing something, or is it something we have to wait till later to do? Gift cooldown, rage duration. Uh, also okay. try to craft gear and weapons to help increase blood gain. Oh, that's dope. So literally like everything you do in the game will increase your blood drain, your blood gain, not just, uh, not just killing things. You can, this is a one handed at weapon, so you can use 62 that. <laughs> 69. Nice. Hell yeah. Uh, we need to progress a little more. Okay, cool. All right, let's do let's it then. Just, let's just uh, yeah, keep going. Let's just let's play progress. the game. How about that? Let's get through the game. I like it. Uh, I think that I'm just about ready. I just wanted to make sure. I don't think I can equip those yet. All right. Cannot return. Remember to drink water, everyone. Lots of it. It's good for the soul. And good for the soul ring. Get in there. He, oh god. He, he freezes you with those. Be careful with those circles. Yep. 
Oh god, I'm frozen. Oh, I need some heat. Give me that saucy little fire. We've broken him out already. I think we're making good progress. Got him. Is that it? Did we do it? Uh, oh, yeah. no. He, uh, has, he yeah. has more friends. He has many different phases that we have not yet completed. He becomes smaller and more. And then he comes back. You see, this is his video. Oh, yeah. Okay. Have you already fought this guy? Yeah, I beat him. Gotcha. I knew that it's, was going to happen, but I just soaked it. Because I'm a the, fucking after boss. This, boss uh, this, is, this is as far as I've gotten. Like, okay. I got to the island, the next area, and I like I got killed by a guy, and I just quit. <laughs> and then you just you called it there. Yeah, I was like, eh, I'm done. See, this is, like, this is the heart of these games, I think, is, like, playing them with friends. Oh, yeah, that's why I, like, wanted to stop and, like, I was like, uh, I'm gonna play some more with Johnny, maybe. Yeah. Because I, I feel like the, the co-op element is just where it's at. Oh, without a doubt. I, I played so much Destiny and so much of playing that game, like... Even, even just like sitting around grinding, the, like the loot cave when it first came out, with my friends was just like priceless to me. I mean, it's also just like good conversation material. I feel like you can just have a conversation while playing these games, and it's not very hard. Exactly, you can you can kind of turn your brain off. Mm -hmm. uh, it helps when you upgrade the blacksmith altar rune guy and all other stuff more unlocks gear. Okay, hell yeah. I feel like my gear is upgrading way slower than yours, so I could use some juicy new pieces. Shipwright by trade and a damn fine one too, if I do say so myself. Well, Scalagrim, I hope so. Is that your attempt to make yourself sound useful? Fine. Do you like my name, by the way? Me, I guess. Uh, what's your name? Benjamin that's Bowman. Benjamin Bowman? That's so much better than mine. <laughs> I'm just Thank your you. best friend. The wreck of the longship yielded a survivor. Someone who could I, well, I heard your name, and I was like, I have to make something more. silly now, and so I, I just like... <laughs> I'm glad you're carrying the goofs. Yeah. Well, you, yours was just kind of silly and fun and nice, and so I, I felt like I had to carry the vibe, you know, of what you yeah. were already establishing. We've got, we've got wholesome love and funny goofs. Yeah. That's what we're all about here. I mean, the thing is, is that Benjamin Button was a movie about love. It really was. And so, Benjamin Bowman is a story about death and love. And that's... isn't it all that we're looking for in the end? Yeah. I'm looking forward to impressing you with my outstanding skills. Looking forward to impressing you. <laughs> Could you imagine having that sort of, like, confidence in your ability to do anything? <laughs> I, I don't think there's anything in this world that I would like, I'm looking forward to impressing you with my skills of X. Yeah, I, that would just get, make me have a lot of pressure. Yeah, <laughs> like magic maybe, but even that, I fuck around too much to impress anyone. She's a real beauty. She's a real beauty. It's just like a fucking dinky now, ass boat. The old fung have a ship again. There's this rival clan. He did just sort of manifest a ship Are into existence, ship so if I had that capability, maybe I would brag. Honestly, yeah, that is pretty good, and it is like sure watertight. And if we do not strike soon, they'll be too fortified to yield. All right. Attack We're gonna have to go kill some windmills. Oh, We're gonna attack our neighbors. <laughs> I like that's a it. that's a deep cut Don Quixote reference that I learned from Jeopardy today. Really? Yeah, Don Quixote fought a bunch of giants, or what he thought were giants, but it was really windmills. I cannot place an artifact in the chest. Whoa. Oh no. Interesting. So I have to carry that. <laughs> Helga, what do you got, Helga? Scald tutorial. Oh, we can also upgrade the bow some more. Super dope. Our scald oh, provides accessories, healing totems, belts, and rings in exchange for resources. We can make a bear sash and a warrior belt. Max health. Oh, damage, baby. What do I need for this? How do I make it happen? What What is this going to use? Okay, there it is. 416 gold and 5 wood and 14 iron. Let's do it. Let's make a warrior's belt. I've done it. I've gained the belt of the warrior. A worn leather helmet. 
got much better armor, poison resistance, and gift cooldown. I like that. That's saucy. Are they using... That's a weird... Oh my god, that's going to take a lot of getting used to. What's that? Uh, the system here is... Okay, blue means magic. Gotcha. So you have uncommon... Or you have common items... Then you have magic items, which are blue. Then you have uncommon items, which are... Or unique items, which are green. I, I'm so used to a very standard RPG tier that's like gray, white, green, blue, purple, yellow. Yeah, but it's a these little are, Yeah, it's a little sporadic. It's like the artifact is purple. It's getting colder, I think. Armor! I right, I've upgrade. worn chain mail. I can make regular chain. Oh. Uh, does this slow you down? Is there. Yeah, movement speed minus 15%. Orange is your legendary carrying weapons. Of course. I think I want Orange a tunic. Alright, we're gonna make a tunic. Oh, and you can right click to sell your stuff. Got it. Science. Orange is legendary gears and weapon. Okay. Um, but is everything before that sort of, like, arbitrary in the sense of, like, green versus lead? Oh, yeah, there's a... Our talisman is legendary. Green versus blue versus uncommon or, or common. So we have the smithy. Uh, this guy makes us weapons. Yes, make me one-handed. Uh, the axes, the swords have a higher crit, but less crit damage. Oh, I got a little go bit quicker. The hammers are the highest damage, highest crit chance, lowest crit damage, and lowest speed. Can I upgrade? No, I can't. Wow, it takes a lot of equipment. You need a lot of iron and wood to upgrade. So you, whenever we get, uh, we should just always be harvesting iron and wood. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna split the difference, and I'm gonna go one hammer. And, oh, no, I can't do a sword. I'm out of gold. This guy's just praying here. What are you doing, bud? Uh, I've got a new hammer, so that one can go bye-bye. Scrap those. That did not get me enough gold. All right. I think uh, I have something else I can sell over here. Can't upgrade this. So I think the wood and stuff is actually used to like upgrade the different like smithies and stuff like here. Oh, the, here Helga. Spoken to me about yes, your visit I'm talking to her. I was trials of if you are. She's the trial. Of oh, she also does the trials for you. Okay. You may repeat trials and accumulate rewards. With higher level, you gain access to new trials. Can we do any trials right now? Yeah. What do we have unlocked? Uh, well, give me a second. Yeah, I'm actually keep also talking around while you do that. Things. Yeah, I, I just I just bought and sold to her. Oh, what's in this little corner? Nothing. All right. Collectibles. I wonder if those are useful in any way. White is common gear and weapons. Blue is uncommon. Okay. I I, I was just confused. Uh, an orange is better than both. Yep. Uh, purple gear and weapons so far are like the okay so purple is somewhat traditional so it's it, it it seems to me like the system and correct me if this is wrong then is is white blue green orange purple in that order can i just uh send you to uh fighting to the arena? trials hell yeah here we go <clears throat> dry throat Here we go. I took yours. Get to the other one. This is probably going to kill us. I'm just going to warn you. Nah, we can dodge. Okay, so it's it uses the standard colors. It just uh, tweaks it a little bit, which is odd. That feels like an arbitrary means at trying to classify themselves to something different. Um, also, I did not equip my hammer. Crap. Cover bro. me, friend. Oh, you're going to die so quickly, bro. I hammer done. I've got it. Wait, nope, that's not the right hammer. 
Oh. Okay. I. I that um, why? Oh, yeah. One-handed hammer. Okay. And then a one-handed axe. Wait, why is that? Okay. There we go. Haha. -ha, I've done it. I've solved it. I've solved the axe hammer puzzle. Oof. That that's one of those things that like uh it, it it's a design element that like it's something I'm really interested in the idea of like uniqueness versus player expectations, uh and that since that like uh the the player expectation the the order of gear is pretty well defined at this point, and to go to try to circumvent that for any reason just feels it, it, it's an arbitrary way at trying to create you uniqueness. Oh, no. That just die. sort of creates uh, uh, confusion instead. Oh, I did a thing with that. Get poisoned, okay, son. I, I really can't get close to this guy. Otherwise, I'm gonna die. That's okay. I'm, I'm working him. Good work, dude. Oh man, you are dodging like a pro. Ooh, I missed one. Careful. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we are just clicking things. Um, it's it's a this is an ARPG sort of like uh, Diablo. It's a Diablo style. Uh, click 'em, click 'em up. It's a click 'em up, an ARPG click 'em up. <laughs> it's a click 'em up. Why why have we not decided to use that that distinction Wait, for term oh. for naming? Shit, I went down. Oh, you fool, you fool! How have you left me? I didn't- I don't know! I don't know how I left you! Oh, he stunned you. Wave complete! Yes! Wave complete! Uh, no! My friend is dead for good! Can I can't! There's no option! No! I have to do this on my own? What have I done? Oh, this isn't gonna happen now. No. Stun! Oh no, dude. Huh. To the health! Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. He's gonna try to stun me again. That ain't happening. Yo, 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 we got it. Find the health. God, you have to do this all on your own now? This sucks. I know, thanks, man. Look, I tried to survive. I don't know what <laughs> I legitimately don't know. I kind of just want to go back and like flip it just to fucking know. <laughs> right? Uh, did I ever play Champions of Norath on the PlayStation 2? I did not. Uh, you, you've mentioned that game before though, right? It's, it's a sort of like Gauntlet style game that you really, really enjoyed. Champions of Norath? Yeah, Cinco's mentioned to, it to me before. It was like one of his, like he played it a shit ton. Um, but I, I've never tried it out. I really, I uh, just got a PS2, so I am really digging playing the games for it right now. That's dope as hell. I I miss playing some retro games, and I, I kind of want to, like, set up a console and go back and play some of them. Oh, that, I just soaked I that. I got a capture card specifically just for that purpose, so I'm going to be streaming some PS2 and Wii games soon. Which is super cool. Once, once you get real into it, I I cannot wait. Oh, fuck you, Heat. How many of these do I have to survive? Three? Oh, gosh. That's not even the end of this wave. Gotcha. I took so much damage no, from that frost. Jesus. Champions of Norad? I think I might have actually played this in a friend's house. Oh, really? I have, I have oh, no. There's two of them now. Dude, this game rocks. I'm gonna put this in my like two buy at some point. Oh, I'm stunned. Oh yeah, that that was the end of that. Whoo, baby. Well, we but got my, 70 wood out of it. Good work, my dude. <laughs> <laughs> that was all you. I all did right, my I best. Challenges because before I'm gonna forget if I don't do it later. Challenges of Norat. I have a, a, a price charting uh, wish list where I like go and find all the physical media that I want. That's super dope. Uh, That's a and good I also system. Have have like my whole collection listed there as well, uh, so you can like see all the games that I own as well. I'm curious if 
No, it is not on Steam at all. It has not been ported. Uh, while you while you figure that out, I'm gonna step out to use the bathroom real quick. Please enjoy the heartbeat. Then what was it exactly? Challenges enduring? Challenges? Uh, champions. Champions. Cha champions. There it is. I've got it right there. Add to my wish list. Hell fucking yeah. Alright. Yeah, so I have played Champions of Nora to answer your question. Um, the game is legit. I haven't played, got that far in it. I literally just played like one night of it uh, with a little bit of alcohol and some friends. Uh, I would love to play that again. Uh, I've just wishlisted it, so if I ever come across it in any antique stores or anything like that, I will pick it up and I will play it on stream, uh, preferably with a friend, because that is a good co-op game. Really, really fun couch co-op. I really like those like couch co-op hack and slash RPGs. We were just talking about going lit earlier. <sighs> the original PlayStation One. It's a really good game. Okay. I'm not gonna repeat the trial right now because if I go back home. And then I can do some other things. I wonder if I'm gonna wait for the other player so long that he's gonna peace out. Now he won't. He'll show up. I know he will. All right, all right, I'm back. And Welcome back. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if you're still in chat there, Rebecca. But if you are, your pentagram is fucking dope. What are you making that for? Pentagram. Yeah, she she tagged me in her story, and she's she's making a pentagram while watching. That's dope. Now, yeah. What do you by by like a pentagram? Like 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 one of like the. What what else would it what? Are you, like a fucking uh. <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, <laughs> it's it's the Sith symbol. It's the Sith symbol as a pentagram. I, yeah. You know, it's like, a circle with a star in it. So so we we got a Satanist in chat. That's cool. If so, I mean, like I've hung out with Satanists before. I'm it's, just curious. It's for your practice. It's for your practice. Uh, what Satan what are you practicing for? Is it just like prop making or it could or be is it that. the the practicing of accumulating skills of making pentagrams? Pentagrams are very useful. Yes, I am Sith for practice. <laughs> you need weapons? Uh, we could probably head to the next area if you want to try to yeah, get stronger. Yeah, I am ready. For your witchcraft practice. Hell yeah, that's dope as fuck. Oh, hell yeah. What, what? Yeah, that actually makes more sense. Um, hey, please hey, forgive my ignorance, but what application do pentagrams have in, in like, actual witchcraft? My mom is so, like, against that shit, so it's just kind of funny. Is she a like, traditional, like, Christian? Well, okay, she is a little bit, but it's mainly because she went and, like, volunteered at an orphanage in Thailand and then, like, went to visit a witch doctor once and got, like, blood splattered on her from, like, a chicken's neck. So oh, shit. She is, like, freaked out about curses and stuff like that and wouldn't even let me play Yu-Gi-Oh! when I was growing up. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> That's unfortunate. Yu-Gi-Oh! was so good. Yeah, so it's a, it's a protective it symbol. Is there like so so I'm I I'm really fascinated about this and this oh, idea of that like what nervous. what does the practice the correlate to the to the attributes of the symbol? Is it like are you the practicing because there's there's a necessity for the way that they're being the, of them being made in order to function correctly? Or is it just like a practice so that you're just more familiar with building the structures? Is there is there any sort of correlation to like the way it's built and how effective it actually is in that the practice would be necessary? We gotta be careful here because there are a lot of archers. Yeah, I see them flying around. I was worried about them. We have to get in at them. All right, first group dead. Let's move on to the next. 
Actually, should I switch to my other character? Would you like to play with another melee fighter, or are you, are you liking? That's your call. Like, what do you, what do you prefer? Are you not enjoying the the ranged fights right now? Would you I prefer to switch to melee? Are, are okay, but I really do like generally when I play these games playing the big meaty slaps. Okay, if you want to switch, so, then oh. go for it, my guy. We will lose our progress really quickly. Yep. So. <laughs> I was enjoying that character, though. That was a fun little character. I I kind of wish I would have gone with Odin. I'm curious how the, like, staffs work and if there's any sort of magic system. See, that's what I was wondering. I have no idea if there's, like, a, a staff magic system. Like, if his abilities give you some sort of access to magic. Okay, so now I, uh, to exit to menu? I think so. Every practice is different. Modern day witchcraft is oh, connection to the server failed. You'll have to invite me again. Uh, yeah, I'm just gotta change my character. It's very individualistic. You channel a lot of your intent through arts and crafts by focusing my intent on protecting my positive energy I'm weaving. Physically, okay, that's interesting. I okay. So so is 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 the practice more of a means of sort of like grounding yourself and focusing than it is necessarily a means of actually practicing the art. It, it, it's it's more of it, it it's less of practice and more of active creation if that makes sense if, am i making sense oh i just hit continue oopsies i'll wait for your invite oh just sent it the village had the misfortune Boop. of being just this character it. actually has more abilities unlocked uh, i have the second ability <laughs> is what i mean Okay, that's that's super dope. Yeah, I, I, I'd imagine it in the sense of, like, an artist painting a painting while it is still practice, it's also actively creating the, the art at the same time. All right, are you joining me again? Uh, yes, I am joining in now. It is loading. That that's super cool. I've never really followed the practice of witchcraft very much, and like what it what it means in the sort of tangible physical world, and how you put those the the sort of like manifestations and thoughts and ideas into the world. Oh wait, now I'm having second thoughts because now we don't have that artifact. I guess I could just create it back <laughs> to your character later, but whatever. What artifact? The the purple bow. Oh, but once we get, we have to get to level 28 to use that. Yeah, are we going to play this game that long? I'm probably not, honestly. <laughs> uh, I mean, are so you I feeling it? Hurt. I don't know. Probably not, but... Eventually, we'll unlock a merchant down the road, too. That's dope. I don't know. Are you joining the, my game? Yeah, it's loading. Okay. It just takes forever. Yeah. It gives you plenty of time to decide if you actually want to switch back or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Does the merchant sell, like, rare and unique stuff, or is it pretty stock uh, RPG merchant that just sells, like... That's one thing I always, always hate about RPGs is, like, why include a merchant if they're just going to sell garbage? Well, you can upgrade the merchant, it seems like, and then also... Uh... I just noticed that, like, you know, whenever you craft an item, it gives you, like, random effects, right? Yeah. So. Yeah, so that's what I'm curious. Does the merchant's gear stack up to the gear that you can craft and find yourself with some sort of, like, barrier of purchase that you have to earn? Or is it just, like, mediocre gear that kind of fills in in between areas? Hmm... Still very new at all of this, learning how to use runes right now. Oh, hell yeah. Green witches do that through gardening with herbs. Kitchen witches practice through cooking. That's cool as hell. Some use meditation and crystals. It's he sells cool. orange gear and weapons. It all depends on what is in stock. Oh, wow. Okay. So it's actually decent gear. That's good to know. I, I am on board for that. I love a good merchant that actually knows what we need. Uh, so are you also, still joining? I'm, I am still just hanging up here on this loading screen. Uh, but that is yeah. okay. So, so, which, 
the the idea of sort of modern witchcraft is is less about um, practicing, you know, designated rituals and more about just sort of like channeling intent and energy into the things you're creating. Is, is that right? In, in probably a very ignorant way to speak about it. So essentially you can apply the practice of witchcraft to almost any form of like creation or meditation. I, I had a, a girlfriend that I dated for a while pagan and was really into witchcraft and stuff and it kind of seemed like it was uh, a lot of that kind of stuff like I mean there were some kind of curses and stuff like that but it was also just like kind of you know herbal with, remedies and yeah herbal. with my guess would be like sort of um, a, a language and culture that exists amongst uh, practicing witchcrafts that like runes and stuff that have some sort of derived meaning from the culture that you implement into the work in some sort of way. Yeah. That's why okay. there's such things. Christian witches. Huh. That's so Better cool. Better tell my mom that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know if I locked up here or what. Uh, oh, maybe I've send me another invite? It. I'm redoing it completely. So. Oh, okay. How, so, Angelic, how teched out are you right now in sort of orange gear? I know you said you're level 15, so how frequent are you getting, like, legendary, or orange gear, I guess? I don't know if it's considered, it is legendary, right? It's called legendary. So how often have you been seeing legendary gear at, like, a low level? I know there's usually an association with, like, legendary gear and high levels rather than low levels. Use your gift I to get an advantage again. in combat. I got it, and now I have a loading bar, which is progress from my last screen. That's good. Oh, so now I've lost the loading bar, but, oh. which is where I was at my last screen. So I am just staring oh. at the destruction of this sweet, sweet village. That's not good. This just, man, this is a bad place to build a village in the first place. Like, obviously, the mountain walls are great coverage, but it's probably cold as hell, and, like, the snow's gonna build up in there. There's no place for, like, building vegetation. It's a completely fishing village for, in yeah. terms of, like... That's wild. Uh, so far, every boss fight has that orange gear and drops at 10 and up. Oh, shit, that's super cool. So there is... The, the, the gear is abundant. Um, I might have to reboot here. I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a whirl on a reboot. I'm so sorry that I broke everything for my foolish because <laughs> I had to push back my old character and I, like I I fucking feel All right. We stopped like, for I was rebooting. Because like I didn't even get to my the second ability for this character and so I feel like I can't even like talk about like saying that I, I oh I played this class. <laughs> like, How did you not I, get the second I, ability? I've got the second ability of mine. I did, oh is it because I just haven't fucking gone to it? I did you just not I, level up? I might have just not leveled up. I like, yeah. Is... Yeah, didn't level up. So the, the legendary gear that you've gotten and progressed to at this point, is it, like, unique as well? Does it have, like, unique abilities and unique attributes? Or is it just sort of just very strong normal gear? I have to reach the four progress. Uh, so oh, I'm you... so sorry, guys. Oh, this... What? Awful, 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 awful. If you set the level of sound, it should always stay at that regardless at what point in the loading of the game you're at. <laughs> oh god, did it just like assault you with the sound? Yeah. My ears are bleeding. Are you... Are you okay, friend? <laughs> I'm okay. I've survived. Are you loading in? Uh, yes. I'm currently loading in. I've accepted your game. Uh, what is this thing that I have? Um, I, I did tab out, though, and now my game is not letting me tab back in. <laughs> what are you doing? Okay, there we go. Joining match. We're loading. Trouble beating an enemy. Yay! During oh. loading, backstab changed scenes. New scene will load. 
New scene. Must load new scenes. Uh, some forms of witchcraft are gate kept. You have to be born slash go through trials to be a practitioner of the craft, like voodoo and hoodoo. You must be trained to go through various trials. Wa hmm. Wic Wicca is a religion, while witchcraft is a practice and varies from culture to culture. Interesting. Okay, I've synchronized and I'm loading in. Uh, that's... <sighs> I, that, I, I find that so fascinating, this idea, too, of that, like, some practices are really guarded. And I, I totally get that idea, especially for, like, Wicca and, and witchcraft as a practice and the way colonization has sort of actively seeked to destroy that. And, and keeping it very protected prevents it from being eradicated. But also in that sense that, like allowing it to spread more openly hey. allows it to, to, to spread and, and foster and grow. It was very nice meeting you, Angelic, as well. I, this was super, super fun. I I hope Thank we so get much. the chance to stream it a little bit later, too. Um, also, I just realized it still says you are playing uh, the coma, David. D what? Yeah. Um, well, let me... Okay, I did a refresh, and now it's showing up fine. Okay, good, good. I was yeah. gonna say... I definitely switched that. I, I don't know. How do you, as someone who's practicing witchcraft, feel about uh, the, the gatekeeping of it? Of all the old things neighbors, is it like a, a good thing, or is it kind of like negative people that want to get into witchcraft? The Svanung believe their fortifications impenetrable. But never underestimate what a desperate wolf might be willing to risk. And I, I do love... The, the, the concept of trials in that, like, you have to prove your worth and your desire to actually practice and do this thing and understand it rather than just being, like, given access. Oh, wow. Their, their bullets hit these guys, too. That's good to know. All, all I can think of is uh, while we're while we're flying past all these crows, it's just like the card storm crow and magic. Oh really? Yeah. I I don't know all the different cards in magic. What does that one do? Uh, it's a very meme card. Uh, it, it's it's not a great card. Um, ooh, cooldown is twenty five percent. Um, it's it's literally just like a I think it's a two drop uh bird that's a got flying and it's a one one two and it's called Stormcrow and that's it. <laughs> you know, I actually at, at one point I like helped a friend sort his Magic the Gathering collection and figure out which ones were valuable. Mm -hmm. And as uh, like a gift he gave me like not necessarily like his rare cards but every single horse I could find. <laughs> uh, I, I, I kept because I really wanted to just make like an entire horse deck out of like really obscure old cards. That's so good. Let's make you a horse EDH deck, my guy. <laughs> yeah, so just using like Pegasuses and stuff like that. And, like, unicorns. Seriously, I will help you build horse tribal if it'll get you to make an EDH deck finally. <laughs> I have an EDH deck. Oh, do you? Yeah, it's only a one-on-one -on -one EDH deck though. It literally doesn't work in group play because it's fucking steamrolls so fast that like the second that I become a threat on the board everyone wants to kill me okay well I mean I, it, it depends like how how quick does it win uh, it's Rafik of the many I mean, do you know the exalted ability yes I'm very familiar yeah so when one character attacks it gets uh, bonuses yes um, is, and is then, the like, I, deck designed I to be it, fast like, it, I'd give it my commander like unblockable and shit like that like, mm -hmm. uh, and then make him attack alone and then it's just suddenly like I can kill people in one turn interesting I, I wonder how that would hold up in our meta because we don't we, like I, I play a lot of sort of combo centric and control decks that's and what so, my, my friends do too but thing is that it, it counters me so fucking much it, I feel like because the second that like I start doing anything cool they're like oh oh we can't let him we have to stop that which, which is why I'm very curious how it would hold up in our meta because like the more act people that are presenting active threats the more you can get away with because the control players have to focus on more than just you mm -hmm. so I, I'm curious if it's like a fault of just like everyone else in your meta just isn't great at building 
it, at the time, it was just that like everyone else was a fucking lawyer at building. Like they, you know, <laughs> like it was, it was like they they knew all the counters and all the stops so that like I I would just never be able to play anything that I really wanted to. But like if I'm doing a one on one, I can steamroll. Gotcha. Oh, I not Oops. Actually, uh, I bet this little guy over here will help me out. Yeah! Thank you, God, for giving me your healing. Killed him. Uh, treasure chest over here. Ooh. Oh, what a cool person, Angelic Knight. I really appreciate that. Yeah, that was super fun. I'm glad they stopped by. They taught me a lot about this game. Yeah, I think that they just are fans of like ARPGs. Oh, I hit tie, tab again, damn it. Yeah, I mean, and I'm sure we're probably like the only people streaming this game. Yeah, I was gonna say like people get notified sometimes like when people go live on certain games if they yeah. follow it specifically. And they said they just got it like yesterday, so. Yeah, so they're, they're probably, probably like, really uh, excited to yeah like meet people in the community and talk about the game. Yeah. Oh wow, we were able to go deep in that water. Yeah, I didn't expect to go that far into the water. It's like when we streamed Killing Floor the other day, which I would love to stream some more of that sometime. Oh, yeah, that is fun. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, you see it only as a negative when it isn't culturally appropriate. Yep, that's totally fair. I get that 100%. Like, you don't use Sage or Palo Santo for smudging because it's culturally appropriate for Native American cultures. Oh. Okay. Isn't negative gatekeeping when someone is telling you you can't practice unless you do blank or just because they think it's immoral? For example, you've hexed someone and some witches really frown on hexes. Okay. So so you're you're more interested in like the the gatekeeping as a practice of culture rather than a a means of uh right of, of morality um in a sense. If that is that is that right? I think so. I don't understand. I'm not that. <laughs> Ow, don't shoot me. Who said you could do that? God, I have so many buttons I have to press. Oh, poor you. And the so fact that like T and R are so close to each other. Does your talisman, like, come back? Yeah. So you can actually use it, like, multiple times and then it'll yeah. come back? It's got, like, a 30-second cooldown? Well, I thought it only has five charges. Uh, not that I know of. Why do you think it only has five charges? Because it has five right next to it. Uh, well, both of my abilities say one. My talisman says six next to it. My and talisman says five. And I have used my talisman like twice, uh, one, two, three, like four times now. Really? Yeah. Uh, I mean, not in this level, but in total. Oh, now it dropped down to five. Maybe. Maybe it's maybe it's X amount of uses per level. That could be. Like per trip back. Oh shit! I died. I'm bad. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. No, 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 no! Oh, what the hell? Oh. oh, we did a bad thing. Yo, no! I have. I'm trying to keep up with these. All right. I'm doing. I'm doing a giveaway on my my in love with soul ring page. Oh, are you? Yeah. Are you giving away soul ring? I'm giving away a soul ring. Yes. <laughs> Who'd have thought? Do you have like a ton of them? Oh uh, yeah, I have uh, four, eight, twelve, thirteen, four, like fifteen soul rings. <laughs> <laughs> Those, like pretty valuable cards. Uh, it's like four dollars. Okay. It was at like, one point valuable. hella valuable, huh? It's like a super good card though. Oh yeah, it's it's a staple. It it goes in every commander deck. Yeah. Oh. 
So uh, now I have like a super arrow. Interesting. Did you finally level? Yeah. Oops, I fucking healed again. Uh, as long as you do your research and understand the origins of everything, I think it's fine. If if it is actively harming a culture or a specific group of people, it's wrong. Uh, you guess hexing is bad, but you hex someone terrible as a form of revenge. <laughs> I the 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 sentence there is just like it, it it's kind of like loaded with irony in a sense that like it's wrong, but I did it for revenge, which makes it right. But like that gets into the ethicality of revenge to begin with. Um, yeah. <laughs> Uh, but like, <laughs> there was a mass spell cast on June 6th, full moon, and you participated in the spells for the BLM protests and hexed oh, a yeah. bad person who killed someone important. <laughs> You're an amazing hypocrite. Aren't we all, though, honestly? No one, no one is 100% <laughs> true to their ideals. Like, if there was someone that was like that altruistic and like honest, it'd be, I think that would be unbelievable. That's why, like, I really, really want to find some account of, like, Einstein that, like, turns out that, like, he was really, really into, like, furry shit or something, like... Well, I just, mean, he like, did murder a horse in order to sell the... or an elephant in order to sell a... uh, sell the government his electricity. No, that was, uh, uh Edison. Not Einstein. Oh, yeah, not... that was Edison, not Einstein. You're right, you're right. I got my E's mixed up. No, Einstein was, uh, was cool. Uh, he did help with the Manhattan Project, though, which was less chill. Yeah, he did create nukes, so that's a pretty big no-no. I mean, I don't think that he wanted to. At a certain point, he was like, this is a mistake. I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong. I, I You know, I can't speak to it. I don't know. <laughs> I do know that he was a socialist. Yeah, I mean, everyone smart and, and creative has always been a socialist throughout time. Anyone smart, progressive, and creative have always been socialists because everyone knows that capitalism is fucking garbage. And like, they the also don't even know who they are. <laughs> you you don't even know who you are. I love that. I don't know who I am either. I've been trying to find myself for 26 years and, like, all I've gotten so far is an Instagram page in which I'm pretending to date a magic card somewhere <laughs> you're not wrong it's somewhere <laughs> this, it's the most fulfilling thing I've done with my life so far hell yeah I'm glad to hear it <laughs> <laughs> that that's and that's something I, I I'm really interested in is like how I, I'm assuming these are like groups and stuff in which you hear about and find out and, and participate in these uh, mass witchcraft spells. Is it like a Facebook group for witches? I mean, that's my immediate assumption, but... Oh, I found a giant, a, a giant nasty frog over here. I've also murdered the giant nasty frog real good. It worked. Murdering the nasty frogs. Wow, there's a lot of health over here. That's because I murdered a bunch over there. Sweet. Um, what were we talking about before? Before frog? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Witchcraft? It was before the witchcraft. Before my little segue there about not knowing who I am. Mm. I don't remember. Who knows? Horse decks? I mean, American we're good. Gathering. We can build you a horse deck, my guy. Uh, you're in Wiccans, Colorado, Facebook, but you found a mass spell cast on Witch Talk. Gotcha. I, <laughs> yeah, it, it, TikTok is great because that like there are so many like little communities that have created their own communities within TikTok. So if you scroll through TikTok, you'll eventually get to someone that's just like, "Hey, you're in Fairy TikTok now. Have fun." <laughs> Welcome We're to like, Fairy this TikTok. is this is Witch TikTok. Enjoy. <laughs> That's how I feel about Twitter a lot of the time, where there's like different subsets of Twitter. You should follow my new Twitter page I'm doing too. Ooh, definitely. It's a... I really like game development Twitter, they're my favorite. Who? What was that? Game development Twitter. Oh. I, I don't do Twitter a lot, which is like a problem, I think. I need to get more on board with Twitter. But I, I've been slowly upgrading my social media game. Like now I do Twi uh, TikTok and... 
I, I've gotten much, much better at Instagram, so Twitter will I probably be next. I haven't downloaded TikTok yet. It's one that I haven't touched. I, uh, I really like the concept in general of TikTok. Of just like short videos? Yeah. Of music. I don't know. The, the music aspect is what kills it for me, because like, I don't know, I don't always need music. But it's just like Twitter, you know, if you if you cultivate your audi your your the social media on it, odds are you'll never run into anyone doing like music and dances. Yeah. I guess that's true. Cuz there are a lot of people that use it just as like a platform for chatting too. Mm. Most but, of what I know on TikTok are like the, the kind of cringy the like dance videos. Yeah. That are like do you know like the one guy? He looks like he's like a J Mod character. No, I don't know. Oh god, he just like the way that he looks at the camera and he smiles and he like manipulates his body like he's a ragdoll. Oh jeez. Like, terrifies me and I think he like ups like the FPS in his videos too. Gives it this like uncanny valley feeling. I don't know. Yeah, the cringe stuff is on straight TikTok. <laughs> that, that's the straight TikTok. That's that is teenage and straight TikTok. That's yeah, I like I had of. never gotten into Vine when I was younger. Oh my gosh, we just fucking massacred that. Hell yeah. Uh, it was it was at a weird stage in my development as a person. Uh, I I feel like if Vine came out today, I would be all over that shit. But because it was at, like, a stage in my life when I was, like, working retail and being a corporate wage slave, I, like, didn't care about interacting with the world in any sort of meaningful way. Yeah, and also it just becomes hard when, like, you just are shaded because of fucking work and are yeah. tired all the time. Oh, they just died right away. You know what this game actually kind of weirdly reminds me of, though? Huh. Uh, Vampire. <laughs> really? Uh, just because, like, the combat in that game is, like, you run around and you hit people and then you dodge, and, uh, there's an ability where you can fight people to, uh, use your abilities with one of them is to regain health. And so in this game, you're, like, hitting people and getting blood and then using that blood to regain your health. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I don't so know. thematically, it's basically the same. A little bit, at least in the terms of the combat. Yeah, see, that was like that was literally right as I was working night shifts at a Safeway. So that that whole era is just lit. It, it's gone to me. It's so fascinating that there are like eras of like the internet where like a, an app will be popular or something, and then it will go away. Right. And, like, people from that era will, like, become famous and then, like, have lives outside of that app that, like, kind of transcend the app. It's it's super great. I love it. it, it it's, like, it, it's a weird, um, in this sort of, like, realm of creation and stuff, we have bubbles now, like, like the tech bubble and, and the real estate bubbles and the dot-com bubbles that, like, we had a Vine bubble that, like, some creators were in there early enough and doing it enough that, like, they became famous as creators, and that's transcended even the app. Sunwon Cho is one that uh, I still follow uh, from the Vine days. Do you know Sunwon? No. He did a lot of really good uh, stuff, like... Uh, really short videos of him, like, looking at the camera. He's, like... How do I describe him? And like, he's like a little bit of like a chubby Asian guy, but uh, he is so fucking funny, and like his voice is like really deep and sultry, and like That's super fucking great. sex off hell. Like I love him. And he's a voice actor too. He does like a lot of voice acting work. Oh, and, uh, did he just do a a recent game, right? I think he might have. He was he was on a Polygon interview. He probably was. Yeah, he he, I, he gets around. I I'm pretty sure I just saw. When you said chubby Asian guy that did voice acting, like, I'm pretty sure I just saw a chubby Asian guy do voice <laughs> acting or talk about what it was like to do voice acting for a game on a Polygon channel show or yeah. video. It's probably that exact guy. Sunwon Cho uh, also makes, like, he got famous for Vine, uh, and he did, like, a bunch of videos of, like, uh, 
<laughs> the the final the, the first boss calling the final boss that he killed the uh, character in like the first level. Like I know I, we built like six fun and amazing levels. Like <laughs> <laughs> uh, you saw Logan and Jake Paul, Garrett Watts, Danny Gonzella, Drew Godin, fucking Lee Pons start their careers on Vine. Yeah, and that's like that's something that I really love about like the the sort of progression and and constant evolution of social media is that it really does allow sort of new creators to constantly get discovered and and popular uh we're missing a bunch it seems Like, even, even with YouTube, you know, we had people like Fred and PewDiePie and, like, the fucking annoying orange and stuff that, like, people built their careers off early YouTube. And now they're just like, that's what they do now, is they're just creators that, that just happen to have gotten a popu popular and a following and a fan base because they were early enough in the bubble of some sort of new social media. Now they're reviewing all the little Debbie snacks. Yeah. <laughs> um, we're missing one skull yeah. and three flags. I mean, do you want to go search them all out? Let me see. Your call. What are you feeling? I don't know. We've explored this map pretty thoroughly, and we just haven't found all the little things. I feel like we can probably just... Well, here's a flag. Out. Found the flags, at least. A yeah. flag. There's there's two more total that we're missing. Two more? Well, it's not... Um, we, we, we have lost our... Yeah. our biggest Vikings fan too, so I don't know how you're feeling about continuing with this game. But we could do something like Hyperscape or something too. Sure. Or Rogue Company, or I don't know. What 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 ones have you been playing lately? What what, what? multiplayer games have you been feeling? I know there's been a lot out and we've tried out a whole bunch of different ones lately. I mean, like, Vermintide and Call of Duty were, like, the two last ones that I've played, honestly. <laughs> but which ones have appealed to you? Oh, and Killing Floor. Uh, I don't know. Because I did, let's see, I've played, like, Valorant now and Hyperscape and Rogue Company. Um, I feel like there's others. I'm down to watch you guys play anything still making Pentagram. Thank you. Hell yeah. Uh, so what... How... Can you break that? I couldn't break it. No, that gate is not going to go down. Okay, it's probably from the other side. He says, I need wow, power. we missed a lot. Um, at, at, at what point do you, like, know that you're done with your pentagram? Is it is it just, like, another sort of, like, feeling it out kind of thing? Or is there, like, a specific point in the structure that you're trying to build to? Given, given that there's this idea of, like, imbuing intent into it, it feels like that intent can be continued to put into it after you've finished the structure. This will take forever, I feel like, to get everything, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, like, walking is so slow. You're, you're not much of a, a, a completionist through games, are you? Well, uh, not in games that I'm, like, huge about. I'm That's fair. In games that I'm like, oh, I like this. If you're um, like actively enjoying it, you'll stick around and play it more. Yeah. That's but like for this one, you're like, go. fuck it, why not just move on? Yeah. Fair enough. Well, let's just move on then. I don't want you to be bored. And you're right, the movement is terrible. <laughs> like, if, if at least moving around was fun, that would be cool. But, like, the second that we find where we, what any of these are, then We're it's gonna just have to trek all the way trek back. All yeah. All the way back, yeah. Oh, what the fuck? I found a treasure chest. It was oh, hell yeah. Regil's harp. Although, it does seem that, like, this is gonna pop open a bunch of doors, too, once we do whatever's in this next area. You think? Maybe it's all, like, in the next area. Well, we killed all the hand masters. We're missing one skull and two flags, so I highly doubt it. Like any art project, you you know when it's done. Okay, the power stays and continues to work whenever you think. Uh, when to work whenever I think or see it. Gotcha. 
It's all art, baby. Okay, so it's not like it's not like you're you're imbuing it with a sort of like permanent essence, but or or, or intent. It's a it's a sort of like uh uh. You you have to actively kind of channel it into it. I wish I had like an ability that was like movement based. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, like my dash. Like dash or yeah, anything like that. Literally, the only thing that I have is this like little. <laughs> <laughs> Entering the final arena. Are you ready? Aye, aye, Captain. I can't hear you. I I tapped on. This is your house. <laughs> I mistook it for the midden. What's a midden? What kind of slur is he using? I, I do not know. I think that must be like a whorehouse, my guess. Uh. You're gonna die. Cool. Oh. Yeah, I need to know what a midden is. It's fine. <laughs> Damn it! I press tab. <laughs> Uh, a kitchen midden or shell heap is an old dump for domestic waste. God damn it. <laughs> <Motherfucker>. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't just call out for the computer to define it again. <laughs> we got to mix it up, you know. Sometimes sometimes I'm Gen Z and sometimes I'm a millennial. We sometimes bounce between. You gotta, sometimes you got to forget how technology works. Yeah, we bounce between, like... Uh, uh, steadfast, 100% integration of technology into my life and uh, a sort of ignorance and forgetfulness that technology exists. You we sh we, we shifted house. the borderline. This is you will kill him. Yes, borderline. I hate these shield folks. I will shoot them from behind. Oof, they are running me over. What do you think about that? Huh? There we go. Got him. All right. Now let's get this guy in the chair. Oh, oh gosh. You mean this shield uh, maiden? Thank as you As I very just much. rolled right into her. This is no god. You're right. Eat ice. I do like that that stuns them like mid animation and attack. Do you have like a stun ability? My talisman freezes them. Oh, hell yeah. I don't know what yours does. I think it does like probably the same. Ooh. Oh, every time I just go right into that. Oh. Hey, baby. You know what actually is really cool about Vampire though? Oh, I haven't told you anything about that game, right? No. Uh, it's like a kind of imagine like a Bioware game where all of your quest givers are also people that you can consume uh, for XP. And the oh, more quests you do for them, the more XP they're worth when you kill them. That's super cool. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Don't come at me. So the game wants you to like play this sort of like de toe the line of the devil and sort of like pick who you want to like take out. In the yeah, like how far can you build them up without like destroying what you want to do, but also how much do you want to like level up and shit? You must make yeah, a decision. You play, you play as a doctor and so you have to like keep people safe. But let me see. That's dope. Uh, I shall protect you. Sack the village, my warriors. Plunder what you can. So we're gonna gain a ton of gold. Or gain 1,000 gold after each raid. Ooh. That sounds better. It's like late, delayed return. Yeah. So, do that. Belt of Life, Copper Tonic, Uru's Rune. You're our warriors now. 
Reluctantly, Reluctantly, the Savong survivors swore fealty to the Ulfung and became their vassals. To the Ulfung and became their vassals. Each moon they would send tribute, both fish and If Cinco was still in chat, I'd have him clip the vassals and send it to Molly. <laughs> but a new foe was coming, and war would once again blight the hill fort. Dude, the ultimate simps. The ultimate simps? <laughs> Is that what you said? Yeah. <laughs> I swear, it's more fealty to me, man. It's awesome. I, I need to figure yeah. out how to promote our podcast now, now that, like, because self-promotion is basically banned everywhere, and so we can't do giveaways as promotion. I don't know what the fuck to do, man. It's yeah. a little, little fucks. I mean, I guess we could probably post on Humble Bundle because they do allow bundle-related content. We would just have to post our podcast every time, maybe? Yeah. I mean, that's I guess we probably should be doing anyway. Yeah, it just, like, I know some people are really dicey about self-promotion in communities that, like, they want you to be interacting with. Like, the, uh, the rule is, like... For every one post you do, you're supposed to interact with ten other posts, or or post right. ten things that aren't about you. And like, so otherwise, I, like you're just kind of being it all about yourself. Exactly, and I just know I'm not active enough on Reddit on our bundle bourgeoisie to do that. Mm. So it's tricky. It's a weird balance. Help. I hate being a creator. I wish we would just normalize the idea of, ooh, goblin pickaxe. I want one of those, please. I wish we would just normalize the idea of creators being able to shill. What do you mean, just chill? Shill, like, like sell ourselves. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I think that in some ways in 2020, it's kind of been normalized. I don't think it has. I, I think the average consumer still does not like it. I think there are groups of creators and stuff that have become okay with it and we're slowly more working our way there, but I think the average consumer hates self-promotion. I mean, compared to, like, with the way that people used to be called sellouts for just having, like, brand advertisements, I feel like that's gone down a lot. No, we still 100% do that. Really? Yeah, I dude. Haven't got, I haven't gotten that as much recently, from, or at least heard that as much from people that are, like, mostly I just see, like, oh, man. Oh, the only one that I really hear about that is, like, Raid Shadow Legends, because everyone fucking hates that game for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's still very, very bad, honestly. Um, it, it is, like, it has become okay in the communities, but the, like, people outside the communities, which is, like, the people you're trying to to attract anyways uh they they're still not okay like i mean look at the average consumers thought about ads and stuff a lot of people have ad blocker yeah yeah and and just like just adding ads to like a video is enough to make people call you a sellout really yeah oh, dude no. it's bad it, it's still it's still pretty rough that sounds worse than it is though is it really yeah I don't know. <laughs> you, yeah, Rebecca has ad block on right now. I mean, yeah, of course. We all have ad block, but like. <laughs> I feel like. I mean, you, you've got to consider that, like, Apparently, most like, of the people. Like, I, mm I don't know. Most of the people that you're around and that, like, you interact with on this kind of basis are already creators. the damage movement speed while dual wielding resistance to poison uh, bonus critical damage let's do that oh, I can't do throwing axes yet see it is midnight so we probably have enough time to hop into two hours of another game if we wanted to yeah what are you feeling you want to switch it up let me look at what I've even got here. Wow, that's insanely better. 94 armor, 97 armor, jeez. Okay, um, let me look at my steam. The 
We've still got barrow trauma. <laughs> we do have barrow trauma. Full duck game. Duck game? Have you ever played that? No. Bro. Okay, the thing is that I don't know that we can play it right now because I would have to do, like, the streaming thing where I would stream to you my um, my screen, and I don't know that my internet would be able to handle that. Yeah. It's local co-op. But that game is fucking fantastic. You play as a duck, and there's a dedicated gut, like, a quack button. Uh, it, it is brilliant. It's like a, uh, sort of like a... Smash it sounds Brothers like style Untitled game. Goose Game? It's like that, but um, a, a game where you have guns and it's very short rounds and you kill each other. Uh, kind of like Smash Bros, but a lot quicker. Uh, this game can go to my... Helltaker is a game that I... It's not multiplayer, but it's a free game that you can download that my friend told me about that I'm really excited about. Interesting. Checkbox, Killing Floor. We also have all of these board games that we never played yet. We do have a ton of board games, too. Mysterium. Potion Explosion. Potion Explosion. Just hop into a stream of some splendor. <laughs> Who doesn't love a good game of splendor? What if we just play the first Weaver here? <laughs> <laughs> we could. Kind of have to go to the bathroom. Here. Uh, get, get a list of things. I'll be right back. Oh, gosh. Oh, now you're putting the pressure on me. That's right. I don't like That's this. Right. I quit. Friend. I quit. Um, uh, and thank you for sticking with us while we decide what we're going to play next. Everyone, I, I appreciate this. If anyone has any suggestions on what they might want to see, drop it in the chat. Uh, oh, gosh. I'm I'm gonna suggest hot lava to him and see what he says. What is this game and why do I own it? Is this just the floor is lava? Oh, it's from Clei Clei Entertainment. This is just a game of the floor is. Lava. It's a PVP game of the floor is lava. When did I buy this? Wow, you can stunt like hell in this. Four people in. Only one can win. It's got hella good reviews. Interesting. Well, we have the floor is lava. There is hide and shriek. Oh, I have so many weird games that I, I've never played before. Oh, this one's free to play. What is hide and shriek? It's Funcom. What? Funcom made a spooky hide-and-seek free-to-play game? All right, Johnny, what game are we playing? Uh, well, they're, they're Hide and Shriek is an option. I, we're playing Hide and Shriek. Got it. It's an option. I We don't have to play it. It's no, an option, I, no, though. I, no, no, no. I, I asked what game we're playing, and you, you gave me a game. I said a game that exists. Hide and Shriek. Is that uh, Hello Neighbor Hide and Seek? No, it's just called Hide and Shriek. What? Is it free? Yeah. Where is this? On the Steam store. It's made by fucking Funcom. What? <laughs> is it like on the free section right now? I just, just fuck. Out? I type it in the search. <laughs> fuck. How did you come up with this shit? It's it's in my library. Oh. 
I was just looking you know, through my library. Hey, can I actually tell you about this game here? Huh. Uh, I saw uh, Buck playing it. It's $5. It's called Among Us. I saw that one too. Do you want to play Among Us? I have no idea what it's about. It's like a, a, a hidden role game. I like hidden role games. So like one person plays as an alien and you have to like try to figure out who the person is. That sounds kind of fun. I'd be down for that. All maps free Among Us merch. Do you own it? Oh, uh, I've gotten a, a play the game move where you're timed as little furniture movers. Are you saying play the game move or are you saying play Among Us? Sorry, I just caught your play play the game move. Play the game move. Is that? Did but I, I don't know. It? We said Among Us, and then and then she did shout play that one. So I don't know if the desire is for us to play Among Us or to play move. And it was a, a very aggressive way trying to get me to notice. Oh, she says play Among Us. <laughs> oh, she really wants Among Us. Yeah. Got it. Well, I can't say no to that. Okay, we, we've been requested. We are we are people myself. pleasers, so. It's only five dollars anyway. Exactly. I can I can afford that. Uh, let me remember to close out of this game. All right, we're switching over to Among Us. It's been determined. All right. Uh, let me let me update my stream go information here. here. Exit. Uh. Um. Uh, let me switch to this. There. Now my face is here. We we could play uh the the new Microsoft Flight Simulator that just came out. God, that game looks really good, actually. Yeah, it does. Um. I really want to see what uh, Guard of the Gods looks like in it. Right. I, I want to see what a lot life. looks like in it, honestly. All right, play. I also this. just really want to fly around places that have been to like once, like the Grand Canyon and uh, like a lot of different places in Seattle. I want to fly into the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> you want to just like fly into the Pentagon? Yeah, <laughs> we're just we're just gonna. <laughs> no, nope, we're not gonna make that joke. Ooh. There was a really funny video of Jack Septicai flying into his own apartment building back when he was. I hold on, I can't hear shit. Oh. All right, can you hear me now? It, it was a me thing, not a you thing. Oh. We're can good now, me? though. It, it was another, yet another game that like the default audio settings are just fucking trash. Why does what? everyone try to make you deaf? I got it. Uh, also, can we bump this up to 1920, full screen, apply, and now let's capture the game as well so that people don't have to keep staring at a black screen. All right, we've done it. We've live updated. We're here. Uh, what is... We want to play online, right? I would imagine. Uh, create... Oh, um, what's our room name going to be? Do you remember what we were just talking about, like, seconds ago? They make you deaf so that you can buy Raycon earbuds. <laughs> I just saw a review about how bad Raycons actually are, too. Which, are they bad? Yeah. That's funny. Yeah, I, I was seeing a bunch of people uh, comparing the like quality of them to like other ones that are drastically cheaper and ones that claim to be the same quality but are more expensive. And <laughs> it... it it pretty much, like, for the quality Raycon claims to be, you have to spend about twice the amount of money to actually get that quality. And for what they actually give you, you can spend about half as much to get uh, uh, earbuds of equal quality. Uh, um, a safe space. Nope. Uh, no... There we go. Aliens here. No, no aliens. All right. All right. I've hosted now, a lobby called No Aliens. Let me go and uh, switch out my. Do we want one or two imposters? 
Or do we want to go hard in three? Let's do polis for our map. I'm thinking two. What do you think? Two imposters, ten players? Uh, I'm up for whatever. I don't, I don't know the rules or anything. All right, we're going to do two imposters, ten players. Now join my game, I guess. A uh, code. The code is R G D H. Okay, I've updated Among Us. Sweet. <laughs> oh, she says go hard, pick three, or you're a whip. Well, we're we're gonna ease into it with two. Oh, I can customize my character. How do I join oh, you? Yeah. Uh, type in my room code, R-G-D-H. Look at all these options! Oh my god! There's so many options! I can have a banana on my head! Or cheese! Oh my god, an egg! Are you in? Alright, I'm gonna make it public now. I think I'm here. And it'll fill. What is this? Fuck! Oh. Fuck, I can be a cop? Oh, God, no. I do like this little lab scientist, man. Or this business dude. Flamingo? God, there's, oh. flamingo. there's so many good... Like oh, that. you can have a person on your head! A person? Just like a real person? Oh, like a little stick figure. He's climbing me like a mountain. Gosh darn it. Fucking alien, this is so cool. Ah, there's a little me! There's a little me! We're going with the little oh, me. It's dude. been decided. <laughs> what? You can buy pets? Hmm. What? Oh, that is that is not a pet! That's a person! People aren't pets! <laughs> Holy what shit, this is so do? fun! Oh, I forgot. I, I really need to switch my... Uh... My gameplay here. There oh yeah. All right. Uh oh. What do we go with? I like the little lab coat. <laughs> Emergency I'm meetings. Scary. Oh, these are game settings. Yeah, we're just gonna use recommended settings. Oh, I like this. This egg is good. The egg is very good. Oh, I can't I be like red because you're already red. Oh, I can change being. No, red. I I'm fine without being red. I'm looking through the colors right now. I kind of like this teal. It pops. Ooh, I like this. Actually, wait. So, like, I have a giant egg white. Okay, now we're just waiting for it to fill, right? Yes. Uh. Seems like it's well, taking it a, a hot minute. Private, it is a private game that I think you made. Oh, did I switch it from private to public or public? I I can't. I can never tell. I hate. I, I hate toggle buttons that like have the label on there but don't have any indication of whether or not you press like whether it's click to turn it to private or click to or, or this is what it actively is right now yeah yeah that, that can be a real bother so I like right now it's showing private with a little red through it so I don't know if we just made it private or if it if we made it public by clicking it so I have a little egg boy um I think. I don't know what it is, honestly. Can we join somebody else's game? It might be better. Uh, we could, but then I worry about how do we get both of us in the same game. I guess one of us could join and then, yeah, that might be the play. Yeah, the and then give the code. Yeah. Find a public game. Something with, like, here's 6 out of 10. And then the code is Z-R-E-H. Z R E H. Yep. Game too too full too full. Ah oh, fuck! Yeah. Leave leave quit quit. All right. Um, let's see if our game list looks the same. Uh, seven out of ten smart wits smart wat smarty wat. I'm looking at the public games. Hold on, it's loading. Come on. Okay, I'm looking at Mafia Donut Trump. Mafia Donut Trump. Uh, I don't have any of those. 
That's how it's pretty boy. I'm gonna set my imposters to two to make the search a little I'm more gonna, specific. I'm gonna join Butterbean and uh Okay uh, Okay, U E V U. U E V U. Alright, uh could not find the game I'm looking for. U V E U? U E V U. Oh. U E V U. Alright, I think I'm in. Are you in? I think so. It's it, there's 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 flashy lights. Oh, disconnected. Uh, Reliable right. packet uh, was not act after resins. All right, I'm leaving the game because uh, I wanted to be there with you. Uh, all right, I'm gonna try Michael. The game you tried to join is full. Fuck you, Michael. All right, we're gonna try V. Just just good old V. D T L M. D T L M. Down to lick tomatoes. Oh, Dish. they just started it. Fucking Damn it. no. I'm not playing with you if I can't play with my friend. Alright, uh, Joe Mama. Joe Mama. W D M N. W D M N. There we go. Alright. Ugh, oh, we're all here. Oh, we got chats going off. All right, what? Ella, you call me dumb, but was damn right so, dude. Ha 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 ha. What's your definition of dumb, Winky Face? What is the? Isn't Winky Face used to de denote, denote some sort of like sexual connotation? What is the sexual connotation of that? What's your meaning of dumb? Are like, you seeing this chat somewhere? Yeah, top right. There's a little chat button. Oh. There are two imposters among us. No aliens. Find the aliens. How do I type in chat? Uh, I think we've lost use of chat. At this point, we're trying to find the aliens. Whoa! I just died. Oh no. Oh, friends, friends. Friends, let's turn the lights on, friends. Did, was it because I tried to do something that I shouldn't have? I don't know. Or was, was that guy just the guy who was supposed to kill me? What did you do? I tried to hit the emergency button. Yeah, wrong, wrong, wrong is this guy. Joe Mama. Well. Dead body dead report. Body. Sketch has died. Oh, Bax has died. Uh, who's yeah, the died. imposter? Um, this guy says Cav. Uh, oh, Cav, Cav is the captain. I think it's I think it's Demon. Yellow at calf. I saw red go into calf. Can anyone see my uh, uh, messages? It's definitely not me. I didn't do a murder. Uh, I if the thing is I actually know game. I swear it wasn't me. It was the blue guy. Uh, pretty sure they are trying to misdirect. Alright. I voted. What happened? S fucking amateurs. They cast me out. They thought it was me. You dummies. No, literally, the blue guy was the one who killed me. And he yeah, I know. You. Fucking. <laughs> Told ya. So now do we just chill? Uh, now we're ghosties and we can help. Oh, we, we help. I'm fucking stocking blue. Was it light blue? I'm assuming it was the light blue guy, right? I thought it was light blue. Uh, You're bit, dead. I, finish I, I, your tasks I, I, to win. I think they have to do the finish the tasks, right? Probably. Fix like, wiring. Fix and stuff. I don't even know. Is there like a way to interact with things? Oh, defeat. Yep. Dead on fucking... arrival. Yep. Well, that's hilarious. Joe Mama and Space One were the one who. Yeah. Yeah, I, I knew as soon as he was trying to to change the direction on us.
<laughs> I did good, guys. I died my first game almost immediately. It got blamed as the killer. Got <laughs> died, and then. That's what you get. Shoulda oh, listened. Well, lobby, so we don't have to leave. Misdirection 101. <laughs> yeah, dead on arrival, absolutely. Alright. Uh, tasks to complete. Fix the wiring. Excellent. Empty the garbage. No. With Jonathan. I don't want to call an emergency meeting. This motherfucker. He's fucking... They're trying to murder me. No. Get the fuck away. Joe Mama. Joe Mama killed me. Joe Mama fucking killed me. Joe Mama? Again? I, I don't know how chat works and like what... I don't know how it works either. Dead body reported. Joe Mama. I think only ghosts can see my chat. He's fucking acting ignorant. It was, it was him. It was him. He did the murder. <laughs> I love you. I bet it was him again. Murder Joe. 